beautiful hot babies. I have so many pieces of good news. First of all, new PC, new camera, new everything. Haven't gotten the white balance on uh, yet, and I want you to know I'm not quite this orange, but we're gonna be orange today. Also, my ear infection, hey, we're recovering from that, so I'm finally feeling a little bit more like a human being. Ah, ear pain is literally the worst thing in the universe. Uh, and third, we're gonna be playing Cobalt Core all day long. I'd like to give a warm shout out to the developers for sponsoring today's stream. Um, Cobalt Core is, we're gonna look at the gameplay a little bit more. I've looked at it ultra briefly, but I first heard of Cobalt Core because I think it was like the number one or two most highly reviewed demo during the Steam Next, Next Best demo stuff. And every single one of my friends that play any kind of indie roguelike games recommended this one to me. And then the email came in, it's like, Day9, would you like to do a sponsored stream on the 8th? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so the gist of the game is it is a, it's a sci-fi sort of themed roguelike deck builder. But as you've heard me joke, there's a lot of indie roguelike deck builders that frankly don't try to do anything new. They're just kind of doing the same mechanics that you've seen before, maybe with a different sort of narrative and theme and dress on it, but there's so much room to do interesting and cool and innovative mechanics, and this is what Cobalt Core, again, my understanding, we're gonna literally showcase, is what Cobalt Core does. There's this sort of like, um, almost like axis of attack and targeting weak points and dodging things that, um, yeah, no, our class is not entirely a bad thing. Yeah, no, I mean, it is totally fine to do something in a genre that's just reminiscent of things in that genre that's not trying to do anything inventive, but there's just so much room because the thing that's awesome about deck building is that your experience gets customized and changed and has all the deck building properties and card game properties that are positive, and the roguelike means it can be a punishing, painful game where stakes matter. You can add so many more mechanics on top of that. But anyways, so... Uh, before I hop in, this is one of my favorite things in the entire universe to note. Now, when when I do sponsored streams, the requirements are generally very straightforward. Play the game for a bit of time. Um, you know, don't just suddenly start talking about something completely unrelated during the period of time that you're streaming. You know, like stay focused on the game, things like that. Um, and hey, here are some talking points that you are required to say. And let me give one example of this. This game is out. It's out on Steam. It's out on Nintendo Switch. You got a chatbot link that's posting it. Really straightforward. <laughs> Here is another talking point that I'm reading out loud verbatim. In Cobalt Core, choose from eight quirky characters, each with a completely unique playstyle and their own personal story. Bring three along, mix and match their decks, and see how these goobers get along with each other. And I was like, I have to sign in a contract that I'm definitely going to do that? I have to say that? All right. <laughs> if, if you need me to. All right. Personality core patched. Encrypting memory bank. Restarting personality core. This is what it feels like socializing now that the pandemic is lifting a little bit. Hello? Dot dot dot. Hey, wake up! Oh, my head! Okay, good. Your vitals seem to be stable. What's happening? I'd wake you all from cryo sleep early. Ah! My favorite movie, Aliens. We get some nice Aliens references. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My my memories? I needed those. Yeah, all too relatable. I assume. <laughs> Sorry I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. There's a ship off the bow, powering up their weapons. Everyone to the bridge now. Oh my god, it's a game that it puts me into the game right away. I'm in the game. Alright, nice. Play cards to outwit your opponent. You draw five cards each turn. Yes, very familiar. Each card costs energy. Yep, this makes sense. And I mean, I'm assuming the UI is as familiar as can be. 
three mana. I assume I have five cards in my deck. This is probably an exile pile here. Or maybe an exhaust pile, and here's the discard. All right, great. Get three energy per turn. Oh, use it or lose it. Yeah, let me, I'm gonna pull the volume down just a pinch. I need to dominate, as is the case, to fulfill my deep insecurity. Attack your enemy with an attack card. All right, basic shot. You can always see what an enemy is planning to do. This enemy intends to attack you for one damage. Yep, great, so we have an intent system. Let's block their attack with some shield. Great. Still got one energy. Play the rest of the turn out yourself. Amazing. And this is this is kind of interesting to me that there's multiple different sort of lanes of attack going on. You know, it's kind of funny. I think that like the most popular games that that are card games that exist are things like um, Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, things like this that don't really use like a lane mechanic. But a ton of other card games do. Um, famously, Artifact, uh, Legends of the Five Rings. You know, this idea that you play cards and they interact with the card on the, uh, across the lane. And so I, I, it's been a really nice mechanic in the card games that I've played. Basic shot, shield surge, block up to one incoming damage. Capped by max shield, temp shield, block up to one incoming damage, goes away at the start of the turn. Oh, this actually stays? All right, I'm gonna shield search. Out of energy, it's time to hit end turn. All right, famously artifact, why not? Oh yeah, Soul Forge is another one. Yeah, yeah. Yikes, that's a big attack, click continue. We can use evade to dodge attacks. Play this card to gain evade one, great. Makes total sense. Statuses are shown below your ship. Some have passive effects. Others are used as resources. Evade as a status. You use to move around. Spend one. No way. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I literally, I did a juke do. Look at that. Dude, that is good. And sorry, I keep clicking out of the window and the screen goes black for a little bit. Brand new PC, it has been working as of, let's see, it's 1.24 p.m., about 10.45. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have dodged out of the way, but I see that I am no longer able to attack. All right. Instantly move right, two spaces to the right. Oh my God, scramble. Draw shot. So, d is this considered hitting the enemy? Let's find out. Looks like yes. Block shot? Why not? Ooh. Dude. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, now where's the parry? <laughs> For some reason, my frame rate on my camera is going a little wonky, but I don't care about anything. Uh, basic shot, basic shot, and uh, draw shot is draw two cards and attack. So I see. So these are just like better and worse versions of cards, which is totally fine. So this is attack and then attack. So I can do like this, and then I can block shot like this. Perfect. Oh, no, I see. Riggs has scramble. Perry has probably Perry cards, and these are basic cards that probably just are unrelated to any individual. Okay, gotta, 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 gotta. All right, go. Yeah, so I, I'm intuiting that Shield Surge and Block Shot are Dizzy's, Draw Shot is Rigs, and then Lunge is Perry's, and then White is just basic cards. That's what I think, that's what I think. Enemy is going to apply a status effect to itself. The enemy is going to raise their shields, cannot exceed their max shield. Yeah, I mean this. Um, I do think that one of the biggest benefits of having digital card games over physical card games is that, dude, with physical card games, it is really hard to track if you want to start having lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of statuses. You can do like two. 
but dude, this game, this game can just crank it up as much as it wants, man. The game's gonna track it for me. And in fact, if I'm not paying attention and I miss one, it resolves everything automatically. So it's totally fine. Great. All right. So let's do the... So I just want to do attack. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to multi-shot. And if I understand, this lunge will move me two spaces and then attack. So I move and then shoot. Dude! Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to basic, basic. Because I'm a basic baby. I have made you a mistake. I actually have no... I didn't look at the shields. All right. Oh, it costs two? Well, this is the game. I'm going to shield search. Ending the turn. Taking two shield damage. No hull damage. All right. So let's kill. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pick an artifact. Artifacts are held by the ship's crew and change the rules of combat. Gain one shield and one evade on the first turn. All right. Uh, pick a right click a card to oh so this is adding a new card to the deck evasive shot why not okay I'm starting to remember right the cobalt the hyperdrive yeah you blew it up maybe vaguely remember pushing a button then the white light yeah you blew it up guys shut up you have this argument every loop I've heard it 517 times now one if you're Day nine. Fine. All right, we've got the coordinates of the Cobalt programmed in. Let's get there and stop the time loop. See, Riggs remembers. Usually, she's the last one. I'm improving. Oh, we got maps. We got maps. It's funny. A lot of people are saying FTL. I, I don't feel like this game feels anything at all like FTL. Um, it happens to be in space and have like pixely graphics and stuff, and that's literally it. That is it. Also, you're forgive me, I'm gonna just check one thing here. Yeah, for, uh, is my camera getting a little choppy for anyone? This camera here, like right now, it looks terrific. It looks great, it looks super buttery smooth, but then when I click here in the game, there are times when it, it seems to be, like here, it gets a little choppy. Like right now, it looks a little choppy. See what I mean? Let me see something. You know, let me, let me, let me try this. I, I, I'm gonna do something really fast here. All right, so super high res. Yeah, I really don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that. See, I'm, I'm, I'm like a choppy baby. I'm a choppy baby, I don't even get it. Uh, what's... I'm gonna try one last setting change to see how my fingers are holding up. Doesn't work. Do we have any? I'll fix it for next stream. It doesn't really matter that much. I think most of it's fine. All right, let's go. Ahead. Uh, objects in the mid row are between you and the enemy ship. Um, you can block attacks. They are much weaker than a ship. You can destroy it if they are hit by anything at all. Okay. Hit by anything at all. The enemy is going to launch an object. Be careful. We don't know what it is yet. Shield drone beams one shield at its target once per turn. Dude. So I start with a single evade because of this artifact that I have. So I'm going to go here. And then... Gonna multi shot. Okay, so both of those shots destroyed the thing. It's not that it shot once and the next one went through. I'm going to 
launch something. Sure, let's just do some basic shots. Attack drone. Shoots two damage shot once per turn. So what I want to do is figure out some way to go to the right. So I'm gonna do this. This will let me go to the right. I'm gonna do a basic shot. And uh, you know, why not? Why not? Do a little lunge shot, huh? How many lanes are there? I actually think there's like infinitely many lanes. I think there's like infinitely many lanes, but like you just kind of slide left and right as you're doing it, I think. Not 100%, but I think. <clears throat> I don't know if I can just go all the way to the right. I assume it just is fully available. Okay, so what I could do is I could actually just move to the right, I guess. And I mean, I'm gonna scramble to this way, do a draw shot, do a multi shot. I'm not gonna do that, I'm broke. So I mean like, I can, I can just keep going to the right, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Move to the right, do another basic shot. I'm really curious if I can just go infinitely to the right. Maybe there's a way to manipulate my opponent's location. All right. So let's just do a... I'm gonna do a block shot. Yeah, draw shot. Multi shot, bam, bam. All right, pick a card. What does this do? Whenever you move, move one farther. Huh. Ah, it has retained an exhaust. Okay, so this allows me to sort of fix my hand. I can leave the Hermes boots in my hand. And then whenever there's an emergency, I can just rev the engines and get out of there. Overpower, add two damage to all attacks, decreases by one at the end of the turn. You know I'm going to get that. You know 100%. You, you, you and I, we both know this shit, okay? All right, great. To another combat. This is a repair yard. Unusually in strong enemy. Great. An artifact. So, yeah. No, it, 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 this is like a really archetypical structure where you have a start and then you have a final boss. There's a halfway point where you get some artifact that can improve you. These are rest and upgrade locations. Great. Not trying to reinvent the wheel there. All right, so... I mean, shield surge. This is what's interesting. The shield I can build up and it stays and then the temp shield goes away. This is different from like a traditional, I create block and at the end of the turn, my block is removed kind of thing. So I'm just gonna do evasive shot, do a basic shot. And these, these stay, let's find out. I just have them, I just have them now. Okay. Hey, it's overpowered. Oh. So I'm going to move to lunge. And then I'm going to basic dodge to go one, two, three. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot. All right. Oh, it's doing one by two. All right, so I'm gonna like, this missile is gonna deal three damage. All right, so I'm just gonna lunge again. But this time, you know what? I'm just gonna multi-shot and I'm gonna put up a double shield. So if I end turn, this will eat at this. Hell yeah. Dude, my opponent, he just keeps I don't know if we're ever going to get to quite C. So if I go one, two, three, I'll take that damage. Let me just go one, two, three. So here is again, a question of like, what happens? Like, so is it like I can move as far away as I actually want? 
and then the computer will readjust, because like part of me is like, well, hey, why not play keep away? Ooh, it shows the summed damage. Oh, we'll do three, three. Wow, echo. Search discard and card to the top of the draw pile, sure. Quick thinking, plus three cards. No, I'm just gonna get deflection. I don't need to draw cards, are you kidding me? And howdy, how's it going? What up, Cleo? Oh, you know, same old. What's this? Loop 400 or something? 517. Well, let's get you on your way. Oh my god, my favorite verb in a card game. Remove cards from your deck. Like, literally, just get them out of here. I don't want no stinking cards in my deck. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. This would be a good Switch game. Seems very cozy. Yeah. Dude, uh, what what happened with the word cozy? Why is the word cozy everywhere I see? I feel like someone described the game as cozy, and the whole world at the same time went, oh, we're never going to stop saying that. Yeah, but like, I am I am nearly 100% going to show this to Red. She is a Switch gamer. Do you not want to be cozy? It's not that I don't want to be cozy. It's that I feel like someone used the word cozy to describe Animal Crossing. And then they were like, hey, I like that description. Let's use it for every game ever. <laughs> like for all the games, let's make sure we do that. Because I, I would, I generally feel like roguelike games and deck building games are not cozy. They don't elicit any coziness. We're upgrading. What does this do? Oh. Wait. Oh, I see. This is exhaust. This makes it cheaper. Ah, so I can overpower all the time. Ah, and I get to choose an upgrade path. Ah, ah. Welcome back, Despy. Come on. Come on, sit down. Wow, Despy, you're looking very orange today. Yeah, she, she also has a tan. Um, all right. I'm, I'm gonna go with the easier cast ability. Heck yeah. All right. What on earth is that ship? It has so many guns. Hey, did you guys know there's a big bounty out for a ship with your registration number? We did not. Thanks for letting us know. No sweat. Oh, we better be getting on our way. Hmm. No. Here, look, I got it. This part is brittle. It takes double damage from attacks. Oh, dude. Dude, yes. Dude, yes. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I think that I already have a way to shield myself up with this. And I'll be taking three damage here, but I already start with one shield. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Cast over power. And shoot this deflection. And end my end my turn. Alright, so we can multi-shot for four. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh my children, still as affectionate as ever. All right, so I mean, we're just gonna take two damage. I kinda wanna go for that weak point, but I don't wanna take that much pain. So I'm actually just gonna chill. I'm just gonna do a multi-shot. I'm gonna do evasive shot. I'm gonna do basic shot, and I'm just gonna take the damage. In the tutorial run, I'm just gonna receive that damage. Why not? My opponent has one, two, eight. I've computed it. So this would be one, two, three, four, right? Oh, not quite. It wouldn't quite be that. Oh, dude, look at this gamer move that we're about to do. Temporary shield, and we're gonna lunge out of the way. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Gotcha. All right, let's do 
let's see here. Acid. What is this tongue? Whenever the ship attacks, it gains one temp shield. Ah, uh, okay. I'm I'm definitely doing acid cannon. All right. Every time you heal, heal one more. Permanently gain plus three max hull and heal three on pickup. Every time an attack misses the enemy by exactly one space, the enemy takes one damage. Huh. I don't know where this is going to be useful. But I'm just going to get the hull plating because I see that it does something. And I get an artifact. Overcharger. On every fourth turn, gain one overdrive. Oh, yes. And, okay, so, so there, there's a note I want to make about this. And I want to see something. If I come to here... Yeah, my, I, my my camera frame rate is fine. So basically, I think it's something, some setting in OBS that isn't correct. Because you can, like, look at my hands. My hands are clearly getting clippy, and then they're beautiful. And then they're clippy, and then they're beautiful. I don't know what it is, but let me use my hands. All right. So, um... I think that when it comes to adding more complexity to a game, like let's just take a traditional, um, you know, deck builder roguelike model, which is you deal damage and you receive damage. So there is attack as a keyword, and then there is block as a keyword. These are super, super, super common. And these are, I will literally just say the correct two basic mechanics in a, in a roguelike game. And okay, obviously it's not enough there. Um, and you start having some mixing with the card game type stuff of draw cards, discard, uh, all the usual cardy stuff. But let's say that you want to add some complexity to this. Well, you could do things that improve your damage or reduce the enemy damage. You could um, do things that, um, you know, improve a certain attack or let you cast a card multiple times or the same with block yada 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 and there are other there are games that i have seen that say no no, no we want to we want to keep pushing the complexity we want to keep getting more shit in there and you'll see that there starts being these mechanics that get increasingly abstract because there's just not that much to work with with just attack damage and that's it. And so I've seen games say, okay, well, maybe we have physical damage and magical damage. Then we have physical block and magical block, something like this. And then you can improve your magical damage, you improve your physical damage. And what starts to, what is easy to happen is your brain needs to consider 15 keywords all at the same time. And that can feel overwhelming. Honestly, it's why Pokemon sometimes feels overwhelming. And what I think is really clever that this game does is it adds complexity by introducing a brand new axis. As part as weak, it takes more damage from attacks. Okay, so weak means it's one more, the other one means it's double damage. So for instance, the positioning and where your cannon is aimed on your ship, that is its own, like, that is conceptually utterly different from cards and card mechanics. And I find when you do that, if you take the previous example of 15 mechanics on the cards, and you remember all 15 mechanics and how they interact with each other, um, that can feel overwhelming. But if there's like five mechanics with movement here, five mechanics associated with the deck building here, and then maybe five mechanics associated with artifacts and passives over here. Like suddenly, it's just a ton more complexity, which is great if you want to have a deep, rich game, but it just doesn't feel like there's a ton more complexity. It feels like a ton more little mini games that I want to play. I think it's very, very clever. So, I mean, I will probably shoot this turkey and then scoot left. Shoot the turkey. Scoot left. Bang, bang. I'm not really engaging aggressively. Raising shields there. All right.
I don't really have anything that lets me heal, so I'm gonna draw a shop so you can get anything that would let me... It would give me permission to be reckless. All right, so I'm going to give myself some good old shield surges, and I'm gonna lunge two to the right and shoot that. Ha ha ha! Sirius Charles says it's homomorphism with FTL where the choices are presented as cards. I gotta be honest, this game just does not feel like FTL to me in the slightest. Because FTL to me is a, is a chaos simulator where I just keep shooting people on accident out of my ship. Wait, why take the shot there? Because uh, I'm generating shields and I wanted to be able to uh, position my ship to do this weak point. So let's see here. I have the Acid Cannon, and I want to cast it. But I definitely think that I should move out of the way. So let me do a draw shot here, see if I have any motion. So we have Evasive Shot, so I can scoot out of the way one. I'm just going to multi-shot, scoot out of the way, take a shield damage. So I can lunge again. Yeah, lunge, and then I shoot this. Oh yeah. And then let me just shield surge. So now I have a temporary shield. Shoot again. Should deal three damage because it's a weak point. Nice. All right. Can I? Can I win right now? Because if I overpower, and then I shoot for three, plus one, and then I shoot for another three, plus one, bam. Dude. All right, power play. Adds one damage to all attacks. Oh, this is different from overdrive. Hurt, lose one hull. Ugh. Battery. Yeah, I'm just going to do extra battery. I'm scared to injure myself because I don't know how this game works enough. <laughs> All right, let's do the question mark. Picking up a distress signal. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, no. It's a pirate. Why is it always a pirate? Hey, give me that artifact. No. What the? Dude! All right, nice. And, and so this will apply a status. Okay. So, I think is this is just if it hits at all, not if it actually deals health damage. It's just in any in any regard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna scramble and basic dodge, move one and end the turn, so then I save these three movement points. So I'd need to go one, two, three to be able to hit this. And I really want an acid cannon here. So here's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to miss everything that I've ever wanted to miss. Great. So I'm going to move over here. And this is not fully lost. I can clear some of these. I've generated some shields. Not temporary shields, but proper shields. Okay. Huh. This, this level really wants to give me some status. So if I move to the right one, yeah, okay, so I'm I'm just gonna deal I'm gonna deal some pain over here. Shoot, shoot, I'm gonna scoot, and then I'm gonna end the turn, because I'm actually a little curious what the status is. It says heat, if heat is three or more at the end of the turn, overheat, take one hull damage and reset heat to zero. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, I've yet to cast Acid Cannon. So, I'm gonna just do it. This enemy has gained a status. Alright, so that's that I think is permanent. So, I can just be a dodgy boy. Nice. 
So now at the end of my turn, I'll take one hull damage and reset heat to zero. Okay. So I should probably get the hell out of the way. So let's go ahead and draw. Oh, I'm not going to be able to block anything. So maybe there's a way to kill. So I can do this. I can shoot the acid cannon. They have another acid. And this is at the end of every turn. And I assume that end turn means when I end my turn. I assume the enemies don't have turns. We don't even think about it. So I took damage. Wait, what? Oh my god, why did I... No! Why did why did I take the damage first and get shot first? I don't, I need a I need to read up on my rules ordering. Uh, Lilo Dallas Multi Blast. What is this? Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. Oh no! Now my. Spectrum Internet is going out. All right, hold on, everyone. We're, we're waiting for Spectrum. We're waiting for Spectrum. Spectrum Internet has decided to die. Let me see if I can fix this. All right, well, this is happening. Let me see if this... So this appears when I just turn this on. Oh, wait, that's right. I need to turn this off and click into here. And then if I have clicked in here... Yeah, this actually looks... All right. Yeah, time to buy a new ISV. We're going to give it a second. Uh, when I have blips like this, it generally doesn't last for very long. I... See, look at how smooth my frames are. Look at this. It's so smooth. Oh, yeah. When I turn this on, click back in here, and then... Yeah, no, I, I have narrowed down to what the problem is. And I'm definitely going to get this rare Endless Magazine. Seems like we are stable. Yeah, great. Sorry, everyone. It's not my fault. Alright, so, whenever you have no cards, draw a card. Every three Dizzy cards played, gain a shield. I like that. Gain one extra energy on the first turn. No, I'm just going to do the... Problem is due to waving. Yeah. Howdy. Hi. Can I get you anything? Uh, we're going to upgrade a card 100%. And it's not even close. So, I'm curious. Can I see my overpower in here? No, I don't have my overpower. Nice. So it can be either cheap or powerful. We're going to do cheap. 100%. Are you picking up on any hostile ships on the radar? No, why? My sensors are going crazy over here. Let's see. No, no warp core signatures within a light year. Hmm. Switching sensors to visual spectrum. Hmm. Ah, big crystal. Huh? Big crystal. Oh. Ah, big crystal. All right, let's see here. So, I am going to... I mean, I certainly think we're going to want to get out of the way. I wish I could do a little bit more, but I'm just going to go ahead. Mm, maybe I could just move once, gain this temporary shield, and then multi-shot. Yeah, I, I think I like that more. So that is a problem. So, yeah, by the way, if you're seeing some uh, frame drop issues, it's definitely my internet. Definitely. I can just literally see it. I see it on the monitor. So, let's see. So, I could try to find a way to gain some 
extra temporary shields. So I think that that's just what we're going to have to do. Let's go ahead and draw a shot. See if we can get any more. Well, extra battery. One chip shot. I mean, that's pretty fun. Um, Acid cannon is pretty good. going to do this, and I'm going to stack up this dodge resource, and then just end my turn. So we're going to lose one of our temp shields, we're going to lose one of our actual shields. Here's the chip shot. Not, not fantastic. I have the basic block that I can do, so I'm just going to go overpower, basic block. I'm going to chip shot. Do an evasive shot. Leaving both of these up, because I don't really see a better way to position myself. I'm a god. Look at this perfect placement. <laughs> All right. Uh, bang, bang. Shoot this, shoot this. I mean, why not? So here, here's where I want to try to understand this turn ordering. When does this occur? So, so if I hit end turn, so I think that if I understand the turn order, so, okay, so, so in terms of the logic of the game, let me just click over here and here, don't mind me. In some games, in terms of like how it works under the hood, I take a turn and then the enemy takes a turn. So if it says at the end of your turn, do this, or if for the enemy, it says at the end of the enemy's turn, take this much damage. It is viewing it as my turn, end event for my turn, start event for enemy's turn, they take their turn, end event for enemy's turn, and so on. But I think in this game, there is one thing called a turn. I do all my casting, and then when I hit N, the second half of that turn is it shoots all of the enemy stuff, then we hit the end of that full event. So I think a single turn is, I do my card actions, I hit the end turn button, the enemy does their actions, then the, the turn ends. So I think that this is why I was misunderstanding and I ate like eight damage that I didn't need to do. <laughs> uh, well, it, it didn't feel very good. So uh, Shield Surge is gonna be helpful here. I've currently played one shield card, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna scoot myself this way, so I'm only taking two damage, so I'll block that. And then I'm just going to multi-shot, basic shot, chip shot. So then I hit this button. This occurs. And then you see the acid trigger. This is deal one damage at the end of every turn. So, yeah, I believe there is only one turn. Bang. Now yeah, boss is easier than some of the other stuff. Plus two max hull, plus ten hull. Ooh, yeah. outgoing. The status will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. Oh, so I could have a deck where I'm just running away and dodging and avoiding. And just hitting Corrosion Beam to chip them for one. Discard in your draw pile, put it into your hand. Wow, that's insane. How am I supposed to parse this arcane set of sigils? Okay, so I think that the way I'm supposed to read this, I think, I bet there was a programmer that designed this. Let X be equal to the number of cards in your hand. That's what this X is the symbol, this is the variable, and it is assigned to the number of cards in your hand. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your hand. Ah, 
So effectively, we are we are reading code in real time. Uh, I'm gonna do hand cannon because that's very funny to me. All right, so gain one extra energy every turn. Oh, I see. Here's my other. I see. So these are neutral artifacts, but this and, and these go here. But then I can have artifacts held by each of my crew members. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, so this is something that I've talked about before, which is if you want to do things really reckless with your power in a game, like make really powerful cards or really powerful artifacts or really powerful um, abilities in Dota or really powerful heroes in Overwatch, multiplicity is your enemy. What I mean is that uh, in, you know, a game like Magic the Gathering, you used to only be able, or you used to put as many cards of any type that you wanted in your deck. So you would just make a single broken pair of cards, the famous Channel Fireball deck, and just shoot your opponent on one turn because you could always draw the combo. So then they said, all right, you can only have four of a single copy of a card in your deck. Or you have the legend rule in Magic. You can't have multiple copies of a legend card out at the same time, or legendary card. Arson, you can only have two in there. Um, and so, if I'm understanding this correctly, because this dude has this sort of restriction that this regenerator artifact only shows up if you're dizzy. Like, you don't have full freeform mix and match of everything. Like, I can only hold this because I have parry. And it also wouldn't surprise me if later they're like, yeah, you can only hold two artifacts per turkey. Although this UI would suggest otherwise. But still, gain one extra energy every turn. All non-parry card attacks deal one less damage. Okay. So much energy every turn. Add a trash to your draw pile every two turns. Draw plus two cards turn. Dude, I'm getting power diversion. Nice. First time you guys managed to beat that thing. Wait, really? How many times have we tried? You don't want to know. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I love the idea of imposing additional restrictions. Because then you can say, well, I know that, for instance, Dizzy tends to have a lot of defensive cards. So I can give Dizzy a particular really, really, really powerful um, offensive card. And it can be uniquely disproportionately offensive because there's so many def defensive cards in Dizzy's list. Dreams are correct, I think, in some kind of time, Crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab. Cobalt's particle accelerator. But never so large. Do the microscopic ones try to kill you? Hmm. Not in a way that I was able to perceive? No. Let's keep moving. Sure. Sapphire Cluster. Huh. The nav system is taking us through this lawless sector. Zone is full of pirates, thieves, smugglers, like the last one wasn't. Everyone should have their sidearms on at all time in case we get bored. Oh, hell yeah. So this is... What? The amount of other cards in your hand, four? Then why does it say three? Ah, because of this thing. Ah, I need to get I need to get these cards out of here. Oh, this is terrible, man. I Oh, this is the worst thing I could have done. Oh, man! Oh my god, it feels so bad. Alright. Shoot her. Uh, do this. Do that. Hmm. Alright, better. It's time to start trashing some cards. Alright. Alright, so... Wow, I gotta get these purple things out of here, man. So, I mean, I'm just literally able to cast all of my stuff. We are gonna take four whole ass damage. Mamma mia. Alright, my basic cards do nada. Okay, can we kill all this turn? Oh, I think the answer is yes. Bang, bang. And bang. And now they have one more hull left. Oh, wait! But, because... Ugh! 
Now when I end, I forgot this shoots me. Bang, for four. I am, I am processing the information. Okay, so, um, this selective memory, I think is what we have to do because this is weakening any non-purple cards damage. All right, so we want to go to as many of these as possible. So we have to go here, so that way we can remove these useless cards. This card has armor. It takes one less damage from attacks. Nice. The enemy is going to launch something. All right, Endless Magazine early is fine. And the turn. Step out of the way. Can you remove slash turn off the artifact? I assume not. I think it's good for it to not do that. Hand cannon seems alright. Am I just gonna eat two damage here? I think that's I think that's just what we're doing. Overpower. Hand cannon. Cheap shot. Scoot for one. And a basic shot. Alright. End turn. Yeah, yeah. My basic attacks do, in, in fact, shoot for zero. Okay, so this is... Choose a card in your draw pile. Put it in your hand. Well, let's let's take a peek here. Do I actually have a move? I do. I have evasive shot. So I can eventually scoot myself right into the middle. So let me do this, get this evasive shot, which is gonna deal a single damage, minus one from my artifact, plus one from the overdrive. So I'll go ahead and shoot her. Now I wanna deal as much damage as I can before I scoot. But I think that, yeah, literally just start. Actually, I wanna stay here. I wanna stay here, I think this is right. I think I, I, think I literally stay here because I'm gonna eat two damage and this is temporary shield, so. This is a efficient expenditure. Oh my god, Rocket Horse gifting us five on this beautiful Wednesday. Thank you, Arlen. Dude, Arlen, it was it was great to see you, albeit oh so briefly. Thanks for the game list. Picked up after us today, and great seeing it. Yes! Yes, I sold one copy! <laughs> I think that game is awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna block shot to get this out of the way. And then we can just chip shot, multi shot, and that's that. Faint. Faint or lunge? I'm just gonna keep adding cards. <laughs> you can't stop me. How's the ship running? Oh, as good as can be expected, by which I mean bad. Can I get you anything? All right, so let me remove a card. Basic shot, just get get out of there. Remove. So let's see here. Yeah, this zero damage feels quite, quite bad. So I'm gonna selective memory in order to find my endless magazine. So that way I can cast that on turn one and know that I am truly a very good gamer. So I think the right thing to do is probably to actually shoot like this to make a temporary shield. Evasive shot to get the dodge. And then I'm actually going to chill. This one damage gets negated by this. And what is this status effect? The next one moves will fail. Right. Now here's a question. This says missile's gonna deal two damage, but this does zero damage. What happens if I shoot it for zero? Yeah! <laughs> I have made use of things. Oh my god, I'm so good. <laughs> Get out of there. Bam. Alright, chip shot. I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for free every time. Um, 
Let me just expend this right now. Basic block. Because I am a basic bitch. Two by two. All right. So now, now it's it is a good day to scoot, is it not? All right. So I will cheap shot. Extra battery. Deflection. Scramble. Shoot. Shoot. One two. I I I gotta say it's really satisfying. Also, Rocket Horse, Arlen, Arlen, did you recommend it to me this game, or at least in the Discord? Was it? It was either you or Muggsy was the first person who was pinging me about this. So, how do I maximize this? So we don't actually have any moves, and if I wanted to use a hand cannon, I should use it after I do draw shot. So don't have a basic dodge. Uh, I'm sorry, we literally have basic dodge, but we don't have enough dodge is what I'm actually trying to say. Hey, oh, it's soon to have 147 months in a row. Do I have enough to kill? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Bam! Bam, bam! No! <laughs> no! All right. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do. Oh my God, we literally don't. I'm, I can't believe you would come to this channel and expect me to calculate that all the way to the end. All right, fine. It is a good day to die. Oh my god, it's giving me upgraded cards. Lunge B and overpower A. Math is for blockers, thank you, Cockapoo. And in a game where there is literally no ability to not be the attacker every turn, that means I don't need to do mathematics. Hmm. Howdy. Salutation. Can I get you anything? Remove a card. Basic shot. Remove. Is this you may remove two cards at repair yards? Oh, ho, 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 ho! oh my god, I can remove two cards at a. Oh. All right, oh my god. All right, I always go to question marks in these games. Anyone else getting a really bad headache? No, it's from that high pitched static. What is that? Oh, you again. Hello. Which one of you shall I teach this time? Uh, you know, I want, I want dizzy cards. What's this? Your next one attacks will stun? Cancel the intent of targeted ship part. Big shield. I mean, this looks cool. I'm gonna get it. That tingled a bit. Energy readings are back to normal. Alright. Oh! Oh! Glorp! Hey, look, everyone, it's you. <laughs> I found ya. Oh, this is... Dude, dude. Okay. Watch this. Okay? Watch. Selective memory to find what? To find stun charge. Oh, the next one attack will stun. Okay. So look at that. It updated. It updated my iconography. Ah, yes! Oh my god, awesome! Zero, zero, zero. Uh, acid cannon. Chip shot. My stun anymore is it? Wait, is stun? 
No, stun shot just, it just stays. Fucking awesome. So, I mean, I'm gonna be able to do, like, everything. So, I mean, I may as well, like, lunge, lunge. Lunge. Use the hand cannon. Pow! Oh! <laughs> the enemy's gonna give you a card. This can't be dodged. Get ready. Ah. You're getting carded. Okay, well this is actually kind of an, a large amount of stuff. So I should like... So if I go over... One, two, and then one more. Yeah, hell yeah. Overpower. Overpower. Lunge. Chip shot. This doesn't do anything, right? This is Marty full. So I can use one of these to scoot out of the way. And then I'll just eat two damage. Mmm. So, is there a way for me to kill right away? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so X is the amount of shield, and then I can overpower X, and then it sets my shield to zero. We're doing the inverter. Did I interpret it correctly? As your shield. Yeah, this is it. Dude, it's literally mathematical. All right, Nana Fiber Hull. Heal one after each combat. That might be great. All enemy cockpit start with weak, and weak is takes one more damage. I mean, I've made everything. I'm just gonna do the Nano Fiber Hull because I'm a coward. Barely. Can I get you? Remove two cards. All right, so. Because here's the thing, with Endless Magazine, uh, some multi-shots and these overpowers, we have, like, a lot of damage. And this Inverter... That's... that's... that's crazy good. It's just... crazy good. Is there anything else that deals one damage here? This is probably the worst one, so let's get rid of this one. Um, shield surge, he's good. Here's the thing, draw shot and evasive shot have seemed okay, but what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of draw shot. I think I'm going to get rid of this, because the fact is, I would rather be just spending my mana instead of trying to find the good... I'd rather have good cards by removing everything except the good cards than have the ability to draw these and always deal one da or always deal zero damage. Hope you didn't need those. Thank you. I'm being hailed by a pirate in a cruiser-class warship! Oh! Oh boy. What is it? Put it on screen so we can all see. Uh, sure. Oh, hey, it's you. Huh? I used to be so soft. This should be easy. This part is concussible. Any shot that hits here will cancel this part's intent. Hold on, I need to, I need to, I, ch give me a chance to think. So... So I guess this is con possible because it has that symbol on it, but what it's going to do is going to raise temporary shields. Okay. So... I think that I'm just going to eat some damage here by doing overpower. And cannon. Multi-shot. So we got rid of some shields. We made some progress today.
Okay, so if I lunge, well, let me. So I can like deflection, lunge, and this is disabled. I'm actually gonna give myself some shield. I'm gonna chill over here a little bit. What? Oh. I didn't realize the shield was coming in. Oh my god. Hey, look, it's Endless Magazine. What do I have in here? Oh, Inverter? All right, uh, we need some more shield cards, man. We need some more shield cards. Oh my god, do we need more shield cards or what? I think I might actually select a memory for that scramble. <laughs> Just get the hell out of the way. So let me do this and this. This and this. And this. Alright. Who's the shield? I need some more damn shield. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some... Lock. Inverters. Now we have overpowered force. Now our chip shots just deal a lot of damage. I'm gonna set myself up here so we're only taking two. But we're, we're getting there. We're, we're doing some damage. Multi-shot four. You know what? I'm gonna do something that goes against my very nature, and I'm gonna to try to compute. My opponent has 16, so this would be four. This is another eight. So that's a total of 12, and then with deflection, that should do it. Ooh! Outstanding move. Plus 11 hull, plus two max hull. Oh, yes. What does this mean? Whenever the ship is hit, it immediately shoots a one damage attack. Uh, this is table flip. All cards with flippable actions, such as move, are flippable. Wait, what? I could... I can... I can flip lunges? Okay, so move... Huh. Oh, I can I can lunge every which way. <coughs> All right, turn the air conditioning on, and it's now stupidly cold. I'm doing payback. Absolutely doing payback. And also, give me give me give me a moment. I I really do. I really do need to turn off the AC. It's freezing in here. Okay. He's back. Astronaut has returned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Last cannon. Every gain one strength. Every turn, your ship's cannons become weak at the start of combat. Okay. I think one extra energy seems pretty cool. Every tenth time you draw a card, gain one energy. Okay. You want to evade every turn. You can no longer have more than three evade at a time. I'm getting this. I'm doing it. I'm not going for a man. I'm going for movement. Oh, that was interesting. Yes. You good? Yes. I can pilot the ship for a while if you need a break. No, really. I'm fine. It's just... She really was me. Terry, tell me honestly. Do you think that the narrative is 
going to compel Day-9 to read what these characters' emotional states are and stop blasting as fast as he can to the next combat? Gosh, I don't know, Perry. <laughs> Perry says dot 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 as well. And her purple eyeliner is so cool. Riggs. Pull it together. This is where the ship has been taking us. What is that? It's the same energy signature as the Cobalt Warp Drive. Without containment shield. And energy levels that shouldn't be possible. It's pretty. Let's go kill it. <clears throat> is that our plan? Yeah. I will say, the, um... I, I lately have been kind of, and by lately I mean like in the last 18 months, two years, kind of painfully aware of how many games just don't let me play the game for like two hours. Uh, Remnant 2 was a good example of that. Like I fired that game up and I mean, I'm, it's just like, oh my God, welcome to town. There's a door with gameplay behind it. Before you do that, go talk to Cheryl at the docks. And Cheryl has her characterization where she has to go through a list of her weird, quirky personality traits before she shows me how to craft a gun. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, okay, that was great. 10 minutes. Cheryl's like, great, if you wanna go behind the fun door, please make sure you talk to Howard in the shooting range. I'm like, Cheryl, you're killing me. Go talk to Howard. Howard has his shit he's gotta to say to me. And I like when a game has narrative and has story, obviously. Um, what I like when a game is like, hey, welcome to the game, play the game. That's what happened here. The game was just like, hey, welcome, play the game. These characters start talking to each other and one person shrugs and then we're in the next combat. Fantastic. Okay, so what is this? There's temporary shields. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do stun charge. I have two evades now. I'll pass on this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, you know, whatever. All right. Okay. Let's see if I can do this properly. So this is... Oh, uh, so I can, I can just do this in this order. I can just do these right away. So I have six. Um, I think this seems fine to me. This. And do I actually want this? And I'm actually kind of curious. I'm going to do something really fast here. I'm going to use this. And I now see that I have four shields and one temporary shield. And this does say four. So shields and temporary shields are not evaluated as the same thing. Which I think is like a reasonable possibility, right? Which is, you know, X is equal to your shield, which has two subcategories. Uh, and now I will use overpower. Oh, yeah. And a cannon. What's in my draw pile? Multi-shot. And I have three overpower. Lilu Dallas multi shot. Bang, 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 bang. Oops. Placed. But it's fine. I love being wasteful. It's a card game. It's a cards a game. Be reckless as you please. Yeah, so now, now I'm kind of understanding hey, in this game, why wouldn't I just want to dodge out of the way? Well, the answer is, you can do that. You can literally dodge out of the way if that's what you want to do. Spend all your resources doing that. But the enemy ships themselves will reposition every turn, so there's only so much value that that has. So if I scoot over here, I actually probably am going to want to dodge out of the way. All right. 
Okay, so... So I can, I can just, I can just end it. Inverter, multi-shot. Dude, inverter, multi-shot is so good. I want as many dizzy items as I can that give me shield. Had a wave beam A to your hand. Ignores all shields and armor. This won't deal do anything for me. Uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna add another scramble here. Why not? So I want to remove cards. So I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go up so I can fight a boss. Easy. Okay, so there's no part here. It's empty. Shots fired. This part will miss. Ah, okay. All right. So I'm just gonna go one, two. Alright, yeah, I'm 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 stocking up. I'm stocking up so that way I can do my mega overpower. Oh my god, stun charge? Yes. Inverter? Yes! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Inverter, stun charge, acid cannon. Now, it would be nice if I uh was able to get that endless clip going, but I think this is totally terrific. All right, well. Bang, 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 bang. So, Just get out of the way. Just get out of the way. Okay, so. I'm just gonna shoot. Shoot, shoot. Dude, that's pretty good. Oh, pulse a barrier. Max shields raised by one for the rest of combat. It's literally a dream come true. Get in there. It's exactly what I want. That's literally it. Hi. So let's let's take a peek at our deck. I'm still gonna just remove two cards. I'm gonna remove this basic dodge. Cancel that. I want to make sure I have that. What's what's the worst card we have here? These have been okay for me. I actually think I think it might be evasive shot. Getting that one out there. Getting that one out of there. Shuffle your ship parts and gain two max health. I don't understand. Is this just literally a benefit? Oh. Okay. My ship is its very own deck. All right, that seems fine. I knew you were cool. How is this better? That's a great question. There's a weak repeating signal coming from inside this asteroid. This is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. This message is a warning about danger. Wow, warning left by a dead civilization. They fear their own creation enough. See it away for aeons. A haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the hubris of the living. Let's get digging. Oh, you fuck. 
All right. All right, so now, now I'm flush against the side of the wall, huh? All right. Good thing I used that extra battery, huh? Ow. So this turkey has 14 health remaining. So I could. One of these. Then so I'd have... I could get three more of this, so it would be six and six, which is just, it's just not quite enough. And I hate to see that. I feel like it's still the best thing to do. So I'm just gonna go to uh, do it then, I guess. Inverter, multi-shot, basic block. I mean, that hurt quite a bit, but and cannon. <laughs> All right. Endless magazine A. Okay, shield equals zero. It says the enemy shield to zero. Cancel every single intent on the enemy ship. All right, I'm just going to get this Endless Magazine A. That's what we're going to do. All right, Caffeine Rush. Every time you discard, pile shuffled back, you gain one evade. Draw two extra cards on the first turn. Your first attack each turn pierces. Uh, I'm going to do a quick draw. Just try to make sure that I have, like, the maximum amount of stuff. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. Eh, yeah. All right, you can have as many of them as you want. Oh my god, it's a Crablar. We found it. It's Crablar. The enemy is... My god, they're going to launch something. So we're going to overpower. We're going to multi-shot. We're going to acid cannon. And then at the end of the turn, we're going to stun charge so that our next attack is stun. I'm going to chill here see what the villain does. You brack the crab. Brack is crab spelled backwards. Uh, ah, uh, uh, uh. Alright, so this is... Two damage shot once per turn. Alright. Hmm. Endless Magazine A could be... Could be a lot of fun. Basic block is actually not bad for us. Oh my god, this guy's this guy's doing what I do. He's running away. Alright. Inverter. Endless magazine. Extra battery. Scramble. Okay, so how much health does Villain have? 11. 11 from heaven. This sucks. So I can get two block, get two more overpowered, that'll be five. Total. Well, so number two is seven, which is just not, literally just not enough. Three, so I can get another four on there, so I can deal eight. It can deal. Ay, 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 ay. What does this thing do? Two damage once per turn. This 
send some scrambling in my future. So I'm just going to take four damage there. All right. All right. I messed that turn up. It's okay. I just, I like receiving damage. It makes me feel like I'm, like I'm alive. So that means villain will shoot their own thing. Great. All right, where's my where's my lounge attack? We did it. We absolutely nailed it. Dude, shield Sir J? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what we want. We we just need a lot more shield generating thingies. Stay out of the sector. Oh, why? The messed up ship and that glowing asteroid thing has got to have some kind of exotic tech and it's going to be mine. Alright. This enemy is going to give you a card wherever you are. So I think that the way to maximize the damage is I overpower first, which gives me minus one card plus two damage. I then hand cannon, bang. I can then multi shot, bang, bang. I can then extra battery. I still have a little bit left over to shoot him. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a pretty, very good first turn. So we're going to take one damage here. But I already have the temporary shield up. Fumes? Okay. Turn two kill. Seems good. Seems fair. Hmm. I mean, I have the one that gives me max shield raised by one. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just do this one. Sure. So, are there any more cards that I want to delete from this? I mean, I'm going to upgrade a card for once. I'm going to upgrade a card. Shield Surge A might be good. No, the scramble upgrades don't seem good. Gain one energy next turn. That might be pretty good. Ooh. Inverter can be upgraded. Ooh. So, we got payback. I think this card is I, I shouldn't have shouldn't have used this. I think this card is super duper good. Oh, this key oh. Sets it to two at the end. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. I think that just focusing on this pair of ideas, generating lots of block, and then generating lots of overload. Is this your final waypoint? It is. The Cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are we ready? Don't look so nervous, guys. Hey, Cap. How many times have we been here before? Zero. Day 9 brings him here for the very first time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good luck. What do you mean? We can't fight the Cobalt while it's inside that singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'm uploading myself to the Cobalt now. Hold on, there's probably some other way to accomplish that. The dot dot. She's already gone. Alright, so... So... 
concussible. This is not concussible. This is like the main cannon. So I think that... I think I generally want to try to go left-left here. Here, here. And I think I want to get both of these up. And then I think probably Endless Magazine is the right one to do. gonna get a card. <laughs> Another Endless Magazine. For you, like it could be good. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Scramble. One, two, three. Stun charge. Cheap shot. Now I'm getting a cheap shot every single turn. And so long as I can... Cannon seems pretty great. Oh my god, is that is that a gosh dang inverter? It's probably removed at the end of combat. Okay, and what what goodies do I have in here? I have Shield Surge A. So I could presumably select a memory for Shield Surge A. Inverter. deal a bunch of damage. Alright. Well, I also have hand cannon. Well, this is chip shot, not cheap shot. <laughs> uh, do I have maybe another scramble in there? If I can scramble out of the way. What's a lunge for two? Oh no, I'm having too many decisions. Do I just wish to go low? I think I do. So I think that I'm going to lunge to get in position here. Let's me shoot this and it takes an extra damage. I shoot for five, which turns into six because of this being weak. Shoot this. Bang. Three. Definitely gonna scoot right one. I said right. I meant left. I think we all know I meant left. So I'll do one, two, three, four, fully blocked there. We do payback. And I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. So we're 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 doing light chipping damage here. So, yeah, so I'm going to do stun charge, shoot this to disable this, this turn, and then just, oops, I should have done this first, oops, oopsie doopsie daisies, I think this is fine, okay, 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 okay. Got the inverter, and I have two moves, so I can move out of the way. Yeah, that's going to be really good. Inverter. So now I have four overpower. I just want to do this and make sure I protect. Do five, do five. Dude, the inverter is 
very good. That is very insanely good. Wait a minute. When I get hit, this is... Adds four damage to all attacks, but this is just a single bit of damage. All right, so I think this is death, right? We just bang, bang. Mm. What's happening? Systems report. Cobalt one critical were exposed to the core singularity. Are all the emergency blasters closed? Yes, we can't sustain this. The hull is literally melting. Come on, man, we beat the cobalt. What's we supposed to do? Hello! Who's hailing us? Identify yourselves. You gotta make it snappy. We have like 30 seconds left, Max. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams. I can help you. There are other souls tangled in this time knot. You mean Isaac and Max? And two others. Now, who shall I repair first? I don't know what this means. I'm gonna say dizzy. I have questions. I will hear them. It's time loop, do you know how to get out? Yes. Can you let us out? If you leave right now, you will be destroyed. Your timelines are too fragile to cross the boundary. Boundary? Are we in some kind of pocket universe? Ah, you must be the clever one. All right, Dizzy. Dizzy studied all the time. Oh, thank you. Hey, wait, that wasn't an answer. Okay, so is this content? Every time I beat the game, I unlock a new piece of content. Is that right? I learn I learn more about this nerd. So basically, we focus three particle beams into the crystal sample. Cool. This emits a burst of all kinds of subatomic particles in a controllable sphere of space-time distortion around the core. Which, hold on, I'm trying to write this all down. Oh, don't bother. The physics doesn't matter for a drone operator. It matters to me if I'm going to be a participant in a giant explosion. No, well, that's fair. There's only a tiny chance of that, though. Oh, good. There's tons of cool science I could do with this if we are careful. But Perry will let me. Perry sounds very smart. <laughs> the important thing is, you don't want to be in the reactor core when it's active. I definitely don't. You should write that one down. Don't go inside the particle accelerator. All right. All right, this is, we won. Cards found, artifacts found, map events found. Mm. New character. Okay, wait. All right, so I feel like your engineer, his cards create and manipulate mid-row objects. Yep, we're doing that. Dizzy, I liked. Shielding, shield manipulation. Flexible movement and card draw. And this is on hard. Events are harder. Start combat with a weak cockpit. Plus one basic shot. Less pre-upgraded card offerings. Cool. Plus one corrupted core. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm doing hard. I'm doing hard. I'm just doing hard. I'm just doing hard. I'm doing. A, I'm doing a hard run. All right. Um, yeah, what's in my deck right now? Attack drone. Launch an object. Attack drone shoots a one damage missile shot each turn. Drone move right. Drone shift lets you move all mid row objects left or right with Q or E. good stuff. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize all of this, click on this. Where am I? Okay, I am going to see if I can change something here. I want to see if this is a way to fix my frame rate. Because, like, again, you can see how smooth my hands are. You see how choppy they get when I click in here. So that didn't do that. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna doing this. Clicking in. All right, still didn't do anything. All right, we're doing test number three. Okay, so it's smooth, and then. Oh! Wait, where, where'd my cursor go? Alright, I, I, I don't see my mouse cursor anymore. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're, we're making progress. Now, now, now you can't, now no one can see the cursor! Oh my god, I have no mouse cursor at all, but it sure does look great. So there's something weird happening with this. What if I do this and this? Okay. And then I don't see it again. Oh no. You hate to see that. So then if I do this. Yeah, now it's. I'm, and I'm a choppy, choppy baby again. I'm gonna I'm gonna check like two more things. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the one to capture. This is exactly what to capture. In yeah, very hard mode, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, this This, in a literal sense does work. And I think that if I actually turn off full screen... See, like, you can, you can see, like, the frame rate looks totally great. What's background motion? Normal? I don't understand. You have very hard mode, you don't see your cursor. Dude, that's the, the very hardest mode of all. I'm a little surprised that at how this my new setup is rejecting things. Um, is this a is this a thing that we can do? Capture specific window window cobalt core. Let's, let's give this let's give this a go. Let's give this a go, shall we? Full screen on. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry. New, new technology. New technology. Hey, it's working. Yay! Look, it, look, it looks awesome. Woo! It looks fucking great. Yeah! <laughs> wow! All right. I fix it. I fix it. Yeah, look at that. Now, I've I have so many frames now. You can't say I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, let's see here. What's this do? Ooh, attack drone two. Upgrade two random cards. Excuse me, randomness. Yes! Drone attack A, block shot A. Let's go. All right. Who's Isaac? All right, memories. Uh, do you remember anything before the incident? I'm a drone specialist, I think. Good enough. All right. Missile bay, cockpit, cannon. Okay, so this comes out of the missile bay. Game is smoother too. Oh, dude, I may have. Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm I'm still, uh, you know, learning how to get everything on the new PC to match the old PC. All right, so let us do. Yeah, so many frames. Look how smooth it is. 
Um, okay, so. So dude, if I if I do this, this will now block the shot for me. Hell yeah. Alright, end the turn. Okay, so my opponent is not going to do anything right now, so I may as well shoot and draw two. Throne attack A. Just shoot again. I like that these come out of different locations, too. Uh, and then I should probably draw a shot to see if there's a way that I can scramble out of here, but alack. Should have done shield search. I don't see that there. Oh, uh, dude, I'm gonna end the turn. Look at that. Do we know if there's friendly fire on your drones? I believe yes. What is what? Launch an object one space to the left of your missile bay. So it's like I just make a make a trio of. Those? I'm gonna get Bolt to just give myself a little bit more movement. What is the greediest possible route? Probably down like this. No, there's two bosses here. Yeah, so I wanna go like this. Okay. Um. Did that in the wrong order. I'm gonna just angrily shoot. <laughs> All right, um, let's see here. So I can move right to, that will be okay. All right, so my little dude's just shooting missiles in the middle of nowhere. All right. Why does this guy keep running away from me? Take that. You know what, I'll take two damage. I don't even care. Okay, so... I mean, honestly... Wait a minute. So I'm curious. I, th I think that this is right. I think that I can do this. Put this thing here. Oh! Okay, I keep forgetting it comes out of the missile bay and not the cannon. We're going to take a lot of damage here. <laughs> I didn't... Oh, it comes out of the missile bay. Ah! Dude, I, I am now not drawing rigs motion cards, and I'm realizing how much I need to move right now. Alright, uh, I guess I will do this. Look at that. Ask you shall receive. <laughs> learning is powerful. Dude, I hate learning. I'm a hater. Hater of learning. So when does this shoot? This is once per turn. And so, I am going to do a test. If I end the turn, do my things shoot first? They do. And then I get shot. Nice. A lot harder than I expected. I think many of you remember me saying how much I needed to move. All right, um. So this is weak. So I'm just gonna do block shot A, bang. Uh, I'll just take a single damage. Hey, Lockwolf, good to see you, man, how are you? gonna use this since I can spend that as much as 
I, I so desire. Good evening, day shared. Thank you. So, I mean, having these blockers in front is, yeah, is great. Block shot, shield surge, have temporary HP, end it. Yeah, I, I think I really needed the boots, like, a lot. Okay, so I'm fleet-footed again. So I can do some shots on this. And then just fail. I'm actually going to move and then just use this, which gives me another evasion. I have temporary health. I take temporary health. The drone is just shooting for two. I'm also going to begin building up that. All right, well, I've already made another mistake. Uh, guys, get right back to where you were. <laughs> nice. Uh, quick thinking. Draw three. So I don't think I want this converter at all. I guess I'm going to get Deflection because it's giving me shieldies. Quick thinking. Like, I, I actually don't have enough mana, I think, to go for card draw right now. Is this called mana or is it energy? Sure. Woo! So I'm going to scoot, and then I'm going to summon Attack Drone A. Yeah, I mean, I may as well. May as well. Oh, we're going to get a bunch of cards. All right. So, I mean, I should use the draw shot right away. Use the parallel shift. I'm then going to deeply regret the fact that I did not shoot first. Let me get basic dodge. I don't know where I want to go, but just piling up resources to carry over is good. Trash, trash, trash. Scoot, draw shot. What happens if I do this? Oh no, is internet given out again? This is, this, is, this is an unkind stream. All right, it, 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 did it did it die? Or no, I think my chat just died. All right, that's good. Dude, that was, this is the worst thing that's ever happened, I think, basically. So I'm gonna go this. Shoot to shoot. So I, I need need to summon more summon more drones. Yeah, no, what happened is my Twitch chat just crashed and it was like, push chat is down, reconnecting. I was like, no god, oh, oh run. And then I'll do the bolt again. So can I actually deal enough damage this turn? I can. Should be able to draw block shot. Ugh. Space mine. Yeah, I think I think space mine is. I think this is this is what the doctor ordered. I think this is what the doctor ordered. Give me your uh, money or um, gold. Is this your first stick up? Yes. Block shot, space mine, parallel shift. Attack drone A. 
again, I'm just gonna chill. Let me just do this and see if there's any other shield gaining cards. I mean, there's basic dodge. Why not? All right, can't see my screen. Can't see my screen. Come on. Come on. All right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Get. Ah, uh, God. Come here. I didn't quite realize how much movement I was using in the previous one. Have more minds. Uh. Hey. 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 Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, everyone, move. Attack drone A. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, my gosh. Dude, Despy has been stupidly happy lately. Like... The happiest little baby I ever did see. So now that we have everything up, uh, I'm just gonna spend these. I'm not gonna do the basic shot. Wait, what? Why did I get shot for so much? I need to read more. Which I never want to do. Shot my own mind? Oh, ow. I thought I was making them shoot my own mind. But maybe there was something, it was that card that I didn't understand that maybe triggered. Bang, bang. All right. Oh my god, safety override? Oh my god. Oh, egad! Oh my god. Alright, so if I do this and then end the turn, this shoots first, right? Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Rock Factory? Oh, absolutely I'm getting a rock factory. Are you kidding me? Start of combat, gain temp shield equal to your missing hull. Gain two of eight on the first turn. You can do jet thrusters. Like, I've been really low on evade the entire time. Every time you discard your pile, you gain one evade. Gain one max health heal for one every time you defeat a boss or elite. Yeah. So I'm 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 kind of beat up. I'm gonna repair five hull. <laughs> All right, thank you, and back this way. All right. Okay. This is launch. It'll probably pop out here. So we can go one, two, three, launch a space mine, give ourselves a basic dodge, and end the turn. Nice. Oh, and we make an asteroid. See, if I had asteroid and poison, that would be really good. Hmm. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Drone attack A. So, if I... It's not really a good place for me to put my drone. Yeah, th this has turned into kind of an awkward... Run out. Oh, dude. Dude, baby. Baby cat. Baby cat, baby cat, baby cat. Come here, come here. Sit over there. Uh, honestly, I'm probably just going to give myself block. I'm not entirely convinced that this asteroid ability is very good. I'm not entirely convinced that this asteroid ability is very good.
So I could like, let's see, if I go deflection and then I shift and then I put up a space mine. So I will scramble, scramble. So I could, oh wait, I can, okay, here's a play. Here's a play. So I'm gonna put this drone out, I'm gonna shoot once, and then I'm gonna shift everything to the right. And this shoots before it dies. So I think that this is a common attack drone move that I've been not doing, which is using an attack drone as like, oops. Oh, that's literally not what I wanted to do at all. Sure, let's do it like this. But like, yeah, using an attack drone as like a chance to block a thing and shoot a thing. Woo! In one drone shift and three pebbles. I mean, it just seems so bad. Juke instantly move randomly. Yeah, we're doing that. In one time shield every time an asteroid is destroyed. I don't think that's very good because I will receive those. Do you want extra energy on the first turn? Yeah, I, I'm going to get it, because why not? Let's upgrade a card. Big mine. Okay, what about Rock Factory? I mean, why not? Why not? We're making so many rocks. Why not? Why not? I'm flooding everything with rocks. Crystal? Crystal big. Okay, so like, if I just... I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this. Wow. The gravel recycler can do his job now. All right, so let me end my turn. But then my turn ends and it's gone. So it's gonna shoot left to right. So I'm gonna scoot those, I'm make this. So we're just gonna receive a damage, shoot for two, an asteroid gets Asta destroyed. Oh my god, like, I'm suddenly mathing a lot. Uh, who doesn't love jukes, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm over here now. Alright, so, I'm just gonna go shoot and shoot. I guess I'll just take this, because we can stockpile as many of those as we want. Okay. So, so I'm just going to go space mine, attack drone A, uh, I'm just going to, what do I have in here? Do I have anything that costs zero? Outside of Juke? No. So I'm just going to do a basic shot, and then I'm going to hide back again. <laughs> okay. So now... So I, 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 I mean, I, I just do, like, this. Do, like, one of these? One of these? 
I don't know, this? Which gives me a temporary thing. I mean, I'm slow as hell to kill anything. Juke! Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Get over there! So now I will take one, two, three, four damage. But by the power of doing this shit and the power of doing... Nah, I'm just gonna shoot him for one. So we were able to gain some stuff. So we do this. So I, I just I just hide like a coward behind my rocks. I keep making sure things are blocking and getting destroyed every turn so I can maximize the rock efficiency. And I'm trying to lean on this travel recycler, plus the fact that I make a, a asteroid every turn. I think I'll obviously do this. So, I will have one shield left over at the end of this. Oh, I still have one left over. All right, why not? The ability for me to delete and thin out that last deck was insanely helpful. So, let's go ahead and cast this. Put the space mine down. I'm going to get juke. Because I can. I really want to do this. Is, this is actually a totally fine position to be in. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I find that really fun. It's a fun thing to do. And I like fun. You know what? Do it again. Not bad. Basic block. Draw shot. Block shot A. Bam. All right, so I need a scoopy doop over here. Space mine, scramble. I mean, I think that I just play hide behind the rocks. This is a common game. You might you might have heard of this game before. It's called hide behind the rocks. Uh, okay, so if I can scoot over, scramble. Tuck in the attack drone, eh? Shift everything. Oh, all right, well. Shift everything. All right, so... I mean... We're getting close. It, it it takes a while. It's gonna take me a minute. No! Damn it! <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I could have shot him, but like, you know. I mean, you gotta. All right. Basic shot for the win. Continue. What is this? It's an energy drone. Mitosis, at the start of your turn, lose one shield, you gain twice as much temp shield. Strafe. Fire one damage immediately after you make a move. I'm gonna get all the drones. Every time, let's see here, uh, gain one extra energy every turn, add a trash to your draw pile, doing thrusters. Gain one evade every turn, you no longer have more than three evade at a time. Yeah, this, this I think is actually good for us. Yeah, kind of tingles. All right. Onward and upward. And upward. Go, stalker, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Well, let me come over to here. Let me click on this. Click over to here and here and here and here. Bam. Rock Factory B, baby. Deflection. Boom. Rock Factory go.
So if I shoot this guy out. Oh, so it's, it, it, it's a mana thingy. Boom. Slurping the energy in. Alright, so draw a shot. Do I ever not juke? Alright, let me let me do this first, and then juke? Yeah! <laughs> Dude, we are we are we are droning it. Dude, I am I am droning it up right now. Look at this. Oh, I'm really far away from my energy drone. Whatever. Look at this. Five? Okay, hold on, I can go over here and put that one up there. Okay, wait, wait, and then I can I can esports my way over here. Actually, screw it. I'm just gonna do this. And give myself some more energy next turn. Oh, I, I destroyed my stuff. <laughs> Draw a shot. Lock shot. Basic shot. Juke. End the turn. Shield drum. I mean, I'm going to get every drone that I can. All right, where's the greediest route? Probably like down like this. So my, my strategy is... Put stuff in front of people. So there's four wide, but I'm five wide. But I'm five wide is kind of the description of why I'm trying to go to the gym more right now. Basic dodge, why not? Bang, bang, bang. Alright. Okay, so what happens if I shoot the space mine? I take damage because I shot the space mine? Well, that seems... That seems like total bullshit. messed up, haven't I? Alright. Okay. Sean Plot hits the draw shot. Juke. Energy drown. Dude, Juke is like my favorite shit. I guess I'm a basic gamer who just shoots things. I'm gonna do this though because I want to make sure that my asteroid pops out and hits one of these. Wait, heavy missile? Seeker? Space mine. 
There you go. This. Alright, it's fine. That misses. This seeks. That guy takes damage. It's William says, how long have you been a streamer? I like your vibe. This is my 15th year of streaming. <laughs> Isn't that actually kind of insane? So I'm going to shoot this guy. Finiverse is too long. Oh! Oh, man. That's insane, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you want to know what I looked like when I first started streaming, wait about a year where I will have that physique. It's that easy. It's that easy. All right, so I need to basic shot, move, drone attack, A. Lock shot, basic shot. said that last year too don't you fucking say that gemonade <laughs> no! yeah. all right so we're gonna go for a shield drone basic shot we're gonna you know what you know what you know what i'm sending out drone a I'm sending it out no power, power hot's back on the menu Firehot's back on the menu. Another shield drone? Dude, I'm getting all... Anything that says drone, we get it. If it's green, it goes into my pocket. Alright, so... So we're gonna... Shield drone. Rock factory. Fleet foot. Bloop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna send my little miney guys up there. We get back here, and I'm gonna do this and a basic block. Dude, look at me. I'm just the most basic gamer. Well, that's that's horrible. Uh, attack drone A. Energy drone. I think this is fine. Because I, I just have like a little squad of drones. Squad of drones. Okay. I'll try to move around the armor next time. Alright, well first we're just doing this. Ah! All right, well, I guess we're now doing this. Shield drone, perfect. Bam, can't even tell, I don't know what I'm doing. Scramble, bolt. Dude, we, we take forever to win these, but we win these. is that we just, we need more, like, offensive drones. Dun, dun, dun. Turtle strats, 100%. Oh, this feels like, oh, it feels so bad. First thing we, we do is we always juke. And uh, we are going to just sit quietly to ourselves now that we've juked. Jen Monade, how are you? It, it's weird. It feels like it has been an insanely long time since I have streamed. 
I haven't streamed in five days. All right, I'm just gonna do this and make him a little vulnerable. Oh. Oh, there's a missile right there, isn't there? Oh my god, I keep blowing up my shit. God. Come on, get out of here. Dude, this is taking forever. This build is terrible. I kind of... I, there's one thing that I, I wish some of these dudes would have. Which is that they would escalate in terms of their threat and power. So that way, if, if my list is messing around too much, I just, I just lose. The auto asteroid with the other drone seems fully terrible. It's, it's, this is, an, this is a magical build that you probably can't even understand. Is a heal card your OP? Yeah, no, I mean it, like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm nearly there. That looks cool. We are slowly, slowly, gradually doing it. All right, let's draw shot. What do we get? Dude, look, the basic shots are dealing. All right, Juke always. Oh, that's such a bad, pl oh, that's such a good place. Hey, you know what? I got my little shield drone here and do a little basic block. Oh my god. What does this do? Flex move? What does that mean? Draw two cards next turn? Flex move, 100%. If it's green, it goes into my tummy. Space mine. Attack drone A. Juke? Shit. Uh, foot, back, oh, cause, it, never mind, just shoot me, I don't care. Draw shot. Energy drop. Alright, it's, it's a tiny crystalline gamer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's Rock Factory B time. Oops. No, I don't want to do that at all. All right. <laughs> Bolt. This is this is legitimately going to take so long. This is, gonna, this is the slowest possible thing that I could have done with my time. I mean, I may as well get this. So the energy shoots into space. My, my shield drone dies. Hey, it's okay though, because we have we have attack drone A coming up here. Watch this, deflection. Now I'm gonna summon. Um, all right, I've made a mistake because I thought I still had moves. All right. So this, oh, so my attack drone drone is gonna shoot, and then I'm gonna summon an asteroid, killing my own attack drone. Oh, okay. It's not it's not great, but it is it is what I made. So let's get out of here. Nice. Mines. <laughs> I made I made <laughs> Yeah, the asteroid blocks it. Yeah, fuck you. Juke. Oh, that's really that's a really bad juke, man. Oh, that's the worst juke you could oh dude. Alright, so here's what we have to do. We're gonna do this, we're gonna shoot, we're gonna shoot. And then we're gonna, we're gonna run out of man. Oh my God, this is so bad, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take seven damage, man. 
All right, I'm starting to I'm starting to get the giggles. Well, this actually deals damage. I, I think I'd be better served if I just like started passing my turn more. All right, let's go, Drone Rock. Drone Rock, get blocked. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna shoot her. Oh, dude. Uh, dude, look at this. Everything's blocked. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, yeah, hey. Bam. Alright. Oh my god, yes. Look at this. Basic shot. Basic shot. Basic shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I... Uh... Alright, I'm gonna get the attack. I'm gonna get the attack to run. Uh, in one energy every third turn. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm the most basic baby. Just give me my energy. It'll also give you a card. Okay, hold on. That's right. I'm gonna scoot over here and summon this drone and get a basic block for myself. Where did it go? Oh my god, it's my stupid fucking rocks that I keep summoning like an idiot, like the dumbest... Nothing's working here, man. Oh my god, it's so bad. I said, oh shit. Oh my god. All right. No, look! Bam! Then I can summon that. Oh, no, and then a rock will destroy it at the start of the turn. Oh, shit, man. Here he comes. Goodbye. <laughs> this is the most non-functional fucking deck that has ever existed in this game. And you know what? Deflection. Take that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate my build. My build sucks. I don't have a deflector, right? Dude, this is... <laughs> I'm just gonna remove this rock-generating garbage from my deck. I, I'm literally... I, like, got it, I upgraded it, and it's gone. I, like, I am managing my deck the way that businesses manage their companies when they're publicly traded. Uh, this is just a mess. Alright. Space mine! Thank God this game gives you basic shots. Yeah, I forgot to cast this, so I'm just continuously drawing it. Well, I guess I'll send out Attack Drone A. One, 
two, three. Oh wait, it just, it lasts a whole turn? What, well, I'm way over here now. All right, well, let's. I need to move at the end of the turn. Oh, there's a missile over there. <laughs> okay. Dude, I... <laughs> it's this deck. This deck is... I made a fucking terrible deck. Oh, God. So if I actually want to get an attack drone out, what I have to do is first blow up the rock with an attack drone. Then I can make an attack drone, then I need to move out of the way. At which point I can then make an energy drone and then simply take some damage. I'm gonna need you to juke. Yeah. Not that it not that any of this matters. Oh my god, it this is just the shittiest build ever produced. Oh my god, abandon run. Dude, just get get me out of here. Like I'm not going to keep playing this. This is I just I don't want to be in this anymore. I'm out. I'm out. This is not the end. And this is okay, because I'm showing you what happens if you fail a run. Okay. We're gonna do the same loadout. We're gonna start this run. Remove two cards. Basic shot. Remove. Oh, cancel. Basic shot, remove. There it is. Did the run just not have enough damage or was that the issue? The issue is that I was torturing myself and I felt like not torturing myself anymore. So here's where I think I understand a little better. I can like basic dodge and then I can drone, shoot, and chill. And then look, my attack drone fires and then my opponent fires, he got blocked. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, it looks like there's some different cards that we got this time. All right, bang, bang. Do the basic dodge. It's actually going to make the attack drone shoot. And oh my god, wouldn't you know it? This immediately feels way better. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to. Scramble to scoot, scoot. Problem is we're not quite dealing enough damage, but once we get another attack drone. All right, I did that wrong. Ah, uh, you know, I, I, I should just... I'm just gonna do this to protect the damage. I think that I need to be way more willing to let my attack drones just eat chunks of damage for me. So then I go this, and then I go this, and then I go this. So now we're like chipping away at this little by little. Great, really, really, really great. So I can... Is there a way for me to get move? Yeah, I guess it's just this. 
That is absolutely not what I wanted to do, but that's also another alternative. That's fine. All right, bang and bang. Basic shot, block shot, draw shot, end turn, shoots you. Oh, what is this? Okay, two less energy next turn. I mean, I'm 100% getting this because why would I not get that? So where's the double boss route? It's this way. All right, let's do this. Shuffle me. Very well. How is this better? Okay, so we're gonna go straight to the boss. Thou art in the presence of Wisbo, the Framgificent. Wow, cool hat, thank you. We can summon this. And then we can scramble to get out of the way. Yep. I'm getting I'm getting statused. So if I do this, this will summon two of them on either side. Alright, so now, now I'm going to have two less, or is it one less mana for the next two turns, or just two less mana for one turn? Great, that is ideal. Yo, we're, we're doing it. So, I'm going to plus one corrode on draw. Oh my god. Wait, what? Dizzy's gone! Oh my god! Dizzy! <laughs> Welcome back. Um, okay, so if I... do this, and I have two of those currencies, so now I can do this. But then I can go... bonk, bonk. I mean, my, my things are not arranged perfectly, but... Yeah, I actually like this, because then I can shoot from this side. Get rid of Toxic. Why not? Okay. Missile shot. Space mine. All right. Weapons hot. Cockpit takes double damage, huh? So let's see here. I can do this, and I can have these this guy move over once. It's actually not that great. But I guess I'll just do this and accept some damage, because I didn't compute things quite properly. So where do I want those two guys? Honestly, Striker Squadron is just not that, that bad for us to just go right down there. And space one. Ah, hold on. Hold on one sec. My uh, new computer is like, hey, did you know that Windows Defender is doing things? I'm like, I don't care. Just install the viruses. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Just like, truly, I don't care. Dude, this rearrangement has actually been really beneficial to us. So my understanding is that... 
Oh, only the first one pops? Okay, well. Well, looks like I was wrong. So if I do this, and then I do an attack drone, then that should do it, right? Because this attack drone will shoot for double damage. <laughs> no, no! Oh my god, all of these are terrible for us. I mean, I guess. So, ships' missiles and drones will all launch backwards. Decrease at one by the end of the turn. So this, this is a way to just do a huge swell of mana, which I, I don't want. I'm just skipping this. To evade the first turn. Heal one after each combat. Yeah, I'm just going to do Armored Bay. That sounds nice. Amoir. So I'm going to do the Block Shot, Move, do Attack Drone. Oh, my cockpit is weak. Ah! Reading is what? Fundamental. This is actually kind of nice. Trash. Trash, trash. So yeah, I'm going to. Oh, I only have one. Just ah. I'll get rid of this. I'll end my turn. Yeah, that that drone card that I got is actually very good. Uh, block shot, space mine. That's, that's quite painful. This is about the best thing that I can do. Okay. What the cord is this? Is it just constantly? Oh, I see what cord that is. Ooh, I can get another striker squadron? Oh, yeah. So we're going to go up here. Your shield lasts between combats. I thought this was true. <laughs> I thought my sh sh shield lasted, but but I thought it lasted between combats. Ah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, this is not where it sh. Mm. All right, I, I gotta be really conservative with my health here. Yeah, I, I forgot that my stuff got rearranged. This. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Oof, 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 oof. So, 
So I think that what I need to do is I need to I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna send out this guy and then move everyone over one and then end the turn. So I mean So now things are getting a little bit more clear. And so I, I'm going to do this draw shot to see if there's a probability that we can get this striker squadron. This is a bit unfortunate because I, I really would like to cast that, but I'm going to try to just cast some more resources that will carry over from turn to turn. Oh, there's the striker squadron. Very nice. And then I want to use this to ensure that I've maximized my carryover resources. So I'm going to scoot this one. And I'm just going to shield surge here to block this damage. Really nice. So now, if I can just deal one damage... I don't think you know how hard it is for me to remember that this thing is right fucking here. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you understand how difficult it is for me to remember that this cannon is on the left side. I don't believe it. All right, all right. But that's fine, because this does one, this does two, and that's three. One plus two is often times three. By the way, I, I wanted to double check something. Um, could could someone redeem a sub? See, see in the top corner where it says day nine TV? It fades very subtly whenever someone renews a sub or does a sub. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it still works properly. It should, because it's a link to a web URL. But I wanted to check. And did someone, could someone please refresh their sub, if you have a chance. It works! Astrodak gives five. Wonka 961 give one. Hell yeah, it's working. Baldwin's test. Wonka's is very clever. Indeed. I don't... It's not that I want money to support my livelihood. That's not what's happening. It's simply that I want to test a piece of technology. Oh, oh. Second Opinions, I think, is really good. I don't want this. Because I might blow up my own stuff, but I do think Second opinion seems good. Bubbler. Yeah, I mean, that's it. I don't even care. Care what else is going on in this game. <laughs> so I'm going to do this. Second opinion. What fucking card is second opinion? What is going on here? Why is that what happened? Oh my god, it's over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Shift, parallel wise, attack drone. What card did I get? What card did I get here? Oh, second opinion, draw one card for each color. Oh, I thought it was the, the a completely different card. I feel so stupid. Striker Squadron. Do you speak French, curious? Uh, super non. 
<laughs> like, like, I don't. I don't speak. I'd like to. That would be cool. But I do not. I speak un petit peu. turn you'd be good man I'm sure ah Trey we Trey we monsieur Trey Trey we uh do you want mines or attack drones I think we all know ET phone drone uh I meowdy not in front of everyone uh upgrade a card how much does it cost to upgrade striker squadron what get me that Escuchi. Dude, this is so much damage. It's just like 10 off the top. Oh my god, it's over on this side again. Dude, this is going so much better. Oh my god. It was a mine from space. Oh look, I shoot over here. <laughs> All right, one more time. Bam, there it is. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna win. I've done it. That, did you see how easy that was? I'm so, oh yeah. Oh my God, anytime a ship goes wide. Your next attack will stun. I will get the stun source. Yeah. Gain one of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts. Add three Genesis cancers to your deck. Okay, gain one extra energy every turn. Add a trash to your draw pile every two turns. Uh, your ship's cannons become weak at the start of combat. Oh my god, that is so obviously the best one. Alright. So this cannon is weak, takes one more attack from damage. So if I can, like, scramble, s drop in a mine from space. Bleh. I named this drone Lemmy. Love to see it. Dude, this is coming together. Uh, it appears we are taking four damage. Uh, appear that way it does. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was the basic block, but it's the basic doge. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, because look at this. Because now I'm going to be like, boop, and then I can go over here and boop. Dude, this is... We are overpowered. Dude, look at us.
Oh my god. Okay. What does this mean? Launch an object. Asteroid. No. Okay, wait. Yeah, I think some of these seem cool. All right, what is the greediest path? Here, where we upgrade boss, upgrade boss, upgrade? Oh my god, ship it. That's such a good pun. Alright, so I'm gonna do the raw one of each. Probably the scramble so that I can throw an attack drone down. But I think I'll just do a basic shot and then attack drone it here. I already finished Baldur's Gate 3. No, I'm uh, in Act 2 in Baldur's Gate 3, so this should be 1, 2, and this is double damage. So, th so this should this should be just full death, right, if I just pass the turn? Nice. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, I expect that I'm going to be no-lifing um, closer to the end of the year. Um, next, or tomorrow is the Magic the Gathering pre-release event. Next week, I'm going to do Magic, Baldur's Gate 3, Magic, and then... Um, Probably a little bit more magic, some other stuff. But in December, during my last weeks, I think we're going to just be doing that like super hard. Hundred percent. Also, I'll remind all of you that DK30 is coming up, 30-day projects, where we all think of a project that we want to make progress on, one that we come up with ourselves, and we're all going to begin our respective DK30 projects on the 14th of November. And what I'm excited about is that I have already begun my DK30, which is basically trying to eat three healthy meals a day at home Home-cooked, no matter what. We meal prep those home-cooked meals? No, nah, I mean, right now we're just cooking them at home. But also, I've been shifting my sleep schedule so I can get up in the morning and go to the gym. So it's like healthy eating, going to the gym, doing all the good shit. I think I should not have gotten this. It's clogging my hand. I think this is just what I should do. What the fuck? Oh, from the draw pile? Oh, that feels so bad. Oh, oh, oh no. Stun shot. I keep forgetting that thing's there, man. If I do this... Oh, those still hit me, but it's the enemy intense that... Oh, God. All right, well, 
Lock shot, draw shot, end turn. Well, we took an insane amount of damage there. We did not need to take an insane amount of damage. Gonna get this, I guess. Uh oh. It's crystal face. So I think we're just gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do this first. Mm -hmm. Striker Squadron. I'm a big fan of that. So I could do this. Yeah, I'm 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 just I'm just gonna deal some damage and block some damage with my little guys. So I can do this. And just kind of randomly chipping with some of these other things. Shoot this a little bit. There's stri Striker Squadron, but I'm actually just going to get this stackable resource and just kind of chill. We have a pretty good amount of space mines. So we can actually, like, throw this down. Basic shot, stun shot. Basic dodge, chill. Alice Norris says, hey, have you seen Risk of Rain Returns come out today? Are you planning to play it? You know, it's kind of interesting. I've never actually played the original Risk of Rain. It's just not something that I've done. I even know what the original Risk Rain looks like. I know very, very little about that specific one. You know, I... I... This is very awkward. So if I go basic dodge like this, stun this thing, then I have the ability to go for the Striker Squadron. Yeah, I, I don't really like that play very much. I still take four damage. I do have the four shields, which is very nice. Two, four, six. Okay, we did it. Energy Drone. Energy Drone A, and it has a bubble. Ooh, yeah, I like that. All right, this is the start of turn. Gain temp shield equal to your missing hull. When you shoot an incoming missile, turn around instead of destroying it. Every time you heal, heal one more. And don't I have the, at the end of combat, heal? Yeah, there was a way to uh, not take four. Um, yeah. I think, I still think that was better. I think jumper cables is it, because I don't really have a heal booster. Your fifth time to attack. Nope, that doesn't permanently gain plus three max hull. Oh, yeah. Great. 
then we wiggly worm. Oh, wait, I can go upgrade? That's right. So what are we upgrading right now? What is this? Ah, and it's flippable. So that's pretty good. This is... Yeah, I mean, I, I think I just want to attack drone like this. I think these attack drones are awesome. All right. So I'm just gonna put the mine. I'm gonna parallel shift and I'm gonna scramble just so I, again, start building up these stockpileable resources. Um, energy drone A. Yeah, I think getting that parallel shift was actually very good. So I'm going to do energy drone A, parallel shift. And I don't want to do anything because all these are damage shots. What, abyssal visions? Boo, boo. scoot this in the place that I want. Whoa! Did my camera turn off? Does it have a sleep setting? Yeah, my camera just has a sleep setting. It just went to bed. I gotta figure out how to turn that thing off. Alright, so the basic block, basic dodge. These are not gonna do it. So here's, I think, the best play, which is Striker Squadron. This one is blocked, and then here, Striker Squadron. I think Dodge is more valuable than block. Draw sharp before we scoot away. Basically it. Shoot that, why not? I mean, this feels very good. Um, I think this is okay. Okay. Uh, we have one basic dodge. So, so this is probably right. We go basic dodge, we move over here so we can dump a mine right in front of us. We can then block shot and basic shot. And then I don't know if this will take double damage from this. Okay, it does. Nice. Move three spades in a random direction. Yeah, I'm gonna try Vamoos. Why not? Your first attack pierces, doesn't matter. Every time an attack misses the enemy, the enemy takes one damage, okay. After your first attack each turn. Oh, these are all so bad for me, because you don't do a lot of attacks. Oh no, wait, wait, because if I do. A single attack, I gain a stun charge. All right, let's try it. Good as can be expected, by which I mean bad. 
upgrade, and I think I am... What does this do? Makes it two. Or I can Vamus B and get out of there for six? Dude, come on, that's too funny. Vamus B. Do you want magnitude or efficiency? Ooh, that's tough. All right. Okay. So if I go basic shot, I gain a stun counter. So then I can do draw shot. And then I can do... Attack drone one, basic dodge one. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I think this is the best option. And then when this gets destroyed, I have one move to be able to do the good shit next turn. So let's see here. Let me get... We actually have stun shot. That's amazing. So that means I can scoot here. I can play. Uh, no, I can't. I should have done that last turn. Okay. Okay. We're terrible. That's okay. This gets stunned. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Should've done the surge. Okay. So I don't have a So I think we're just going to take that damage. So let me just do attack drone. I don't actually want things to move to the right. So I guess I will just shield surge. The next object I launch is launching with a bubble. So let's do this. You know, I I'm just going to EMP the enemy. Because th this will actually give us a lot of time to, like, reestablish things as we want. Especially if we have the worst run out like this humanly possible. This is so bad. So I'm going to pull down this music a little bit. It's like really intense. Alright, so we are going to stun. We're going to Scramble, basic dodge, and then we're going to chill. Oops, we should draw shot. Striker squadron too. So this will just deal two damage. Ah, uh, I mean it's it's a boss fight. So Villain has a total of 10, 10 health. 10, 10 health. So I'm gonna basic shot, energy drone. Basic dodge, and then I'm gonna dodge quite basically. Dude, my, my yeah, my little stun gun is pretty sick. So this should be two and four. So if I go one, two, three, and summon one of these, this should be one, two, three, four, five, and that should actually finish. 
And I think, I think this is, I'm understand, what? Oh, the shit in the middle just goes left to right. Oh. Oh, all right, well, that's fine. We healed a bunch. Rock factory, no. Think twice. Yeah, I mean, it seems fine. Every tenth time you draw a card, gain an energy. Gain one energy every turn, add a trash to your draw pile every two turns, or every time you gain a shield, gain one temp shield. Yeah, we're doing shield burst, 100%. Entering new zone, huh? What, uh? Okay, so... I can scoot, stun, mine. I can also do this and do this. So... This seems just so fun. <laughs> uh, why not? So I'll do this to give me that resource. The villain will fire into nothingness. And this is add two damage to all attacks. Oh shit. So this seems bad. So I will think twice. This is actually fine, because I can do this, I can go move, move, and I can do this, and I can go move, move, then scramble. Alright, so... So now I get to keep all my two damage things alive and the mine gets destroyed. Energy drone A. So, all right, dude, I love this. I can do the draw shot, drawing two. I can then stun. I can summon the energy drone, which has a shield. And yeah, that, that's, that's it. That'll do it. Go Sagan, happy 12 times 12 months in a row. This is 9 times 16, the proper aspect ratio. Is that actually right? Huh. <laughs> Alright, oh, attack drone's gonna get bubbled? Welcome. Draw more. Dude, yeah, you, you can just flood with so many, like, random things. Oops, not that. Whatever. I'll move it one more. Alright, I'm done. Bang, bang, bang. Boom. Draw shot B. Quick thinking A, just draw five cards. Yeah, why not? I'll draw five. All right, again, I ask, what is the greediest route? Probably... All right, I I'm actually going to do this one that only has two enemies in it. We're going all question marks, baby. Quick thinking A. So, I am... All right, I'm doing second opinions, man. Oh, your hand is full? All right, today I learned. Uh, where is... Where's my block shot? I'm sorry, what just happened? Wait, what? What is going on here? 
What what is even happening? Am I like low on batteries? Am I am I running low? I mean, the thing is plugged in. Like, I don't know. It's thrown off by the time change. It's bedtime. Dude, we've all been there. All right. So I'm going to do the Striker Squadron. I'm then going to parallel shift this. Then I'm going to make a mistake. Let me do this. Yeah, that that'll that'll be just fine. Fired on will completely move out of the way left. So I can do this, and I can shoot here. No, I can't do that at all. All right, Mulligan, trying again. All right, ending turn. So, I mean, I can do this, move one, and just stun shot, shield surge. Okay, so now, now it should be done with its moving shenaniganry. I only have one move that I can do, so let me do this, do this. Do some blocks and dodges and end the turn. So this should increasingly want to recenter on me. Let's see if I can get some sort of basic dodge. Great. And then I can attack drone. Oh, not a missile. Alright, so I do have two shots. If I do this. This next one stuns, which is terrific. And then we can shield surge, which will give us two, thanks to this passive thing. And uh, is there anything else I can do to deal with damage? Nope, We're just gonna stockpile on those reasons. All right, we did it. End detonation. Okay. Woo! <coughs> Dude, why not get more attack rounds? Why not? All right. Uh, duplicate a card in your deck. Duplicate a card in my deck four times? What am I duplicating here? What am I duplicating four times? I feel like it's got to be Striker Squadron A. All right, to, to the boss, baby. Then we're, then we're going to snake our way up here. Oh, one of these. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do this. this, and then I'm going to do that. So I think I should just send this one out, send it. 
I don't know how I... How did I... Oh, God. Dude, that's a lot of damage that I just did not deserve to take. All right. Figured out the play. All right. Didn't figure out the play properly. So many striker squadrons. All right. So how do we do this? We can do a basic shot. Then we get stunned. So we can do that. And... Yes, I will just do this and insert another one. And God, take another three. Ugh. So then, then we just we should win this, right? Bang, bang, bang. Okay. All drones and missiles instantly. That's weird. I'm gonna do big shield, man. I think it's I think it's really straightforward. Uh, every fifth time you attack, gain an evade. Draw a card every time you miss a shot. Radio control sounds fantastic. I, I don't know how it would be good because I would just turn my drones around to shoot me, right? These all seem quite bad. I'm just gonna do heal booster and hope that there's heals incoming. Oh, absolutely we obtain one of two Isaac cards. What is this? Battalion B. Yeah, 100%. All right, it's 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 drone o'clock over here. Grazer beam return attack misses. All right. All right. Well, remove two cards. So I don't need basic block anymore. All right. What else are we getting out of here? This I have not cast once. <laughs> and, I, and I will never cast it. All right. I mean. Hell yeah. Let the battalion go. Fume. You may as well just draw three right away. You know, I think Vamoose is actually going to be incredibly helpful here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. It's solar wind? Wait, wait! Wait. Actually, you start dealing a lot of damage to this guy. All right, think twice. Chuck it, reload it. This is really the only thing to do. I mean, we're going to take a fat chunk of damage here, but he's okay. Oh my god, that's so bad. 
Thank God for a shield surge. I don't want to draw a shot because I'll shoot myself. All right. Computer. Oh, that is not the ability that I thought that it was. Oh shit, do I die? Oh, I really don't want to have to heal at this repair yard, but I'm gonna need to heal at this repair yard. Oh, that's so bad. So that'll block this this shot. Deals two damage guaranteed. So th this should be villain death this turn. And it's somehow not. So these will fire left to right, so this should... This should mean I live. Okay. Woo! Goodness. Space mine. We get every one of these that we can. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to heal. Feels good. All right. Same plan as last time, I guess. Shelf upload initiated. Good luck out there. Okay. All right, strike a squadron. Energy drone, scoot this way, and the turn. This will be our first hard run. Hard run victory. All right, so. so we do basic dodge, and we do parallel shift, and then we do one move, and we go mine spiker, strike cur squadron, excuse me. All right, then we get a little coverage here. All right, getting trashed. All right, well, I'm, dude, I'm gonna. Crash EMP, huh? Seems like a good play as any. Just turn everything off. Let's see if I can get another attack drone. And then I will parallel sh and if I do this and then I put the attack drone here, then I do parallel shift, then I can this thing, and then one of these will live. And that seems pretty good. Let me see if I can get something to follow up this basic shot. Nothing but Striker Squadron A, huh? So one Striker Squadron A. And then I'm going to play Big Shield, which will gain me four total so I can absorb this four. I mean, these little bits are adding up. Oh, that's right. The cannon is weak. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, may as well this.
guess here. I mean, having having five block, I mean five evade up is really good. I mean, strike squadron mine is just uh, this is just it. I don't think I do anything here. I think this is just perfect. This is a lot of damage. Two, four, six, eight. Alright, dude, we, we got the wall, man. We got that drone wall. Isterma says, thank you for seven years of positivity, best streamer. And a thanks, Isterma. Thank you, Homely. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten damage. And Dylan has ten damage. So we're just gonna get this out. This. We're gonna do this. That's not the ability that I thought it was going to be. Whoopsie daisies. Dude, yeah, what, what, what do we think is going on with this camera? I wonder why it keeps turning off. I'm going to have to debug it when I get off this uh, broadcast, though. This, this should actually do it. Yeah, take that. So now... Overheating? I, I have no idea. I mean, I've, I've turned the camera on for a total of a few hours thus far. You are growing stronger. Isaac. Whoa, this is like my dream. These grants look forward to your Baldur's Gate 3 content more than I'm looking forward to Severance Season 2. And God, aren't we looking forward to Severance Season 2. Dude, and like, if for some reason um, the actor strike ends, like, we've seen that it was like writers went on strike and then actors went on strike. And what if like Ayatsi goes on strike? Like, oh my God. Like, we could wind up with none of my shows ever, ever showing up again. I mean, it's crazy. Alright, Isaac. T218 days. Dizzy, your new assistant starts today. Hello, sir. I'm Isaac, drone specialist. Sir, assistant? Forget all that. We don't have titles here. I absolutely have a title and a security officer. Yeah, she stands in the corner with a big cool gun to make sure no bad guys steal the core. Correct. All well, seriousness now. Seriousness, though. She's here to keep us safe. The mission statement only specifies the core. Personnel are considered expendable. Oh, okay, didn't know that. Cool, cool, cool. Anyways, uh, welcome aboard, Isaac. I'll do my best not to be expendable. Which... Drake hired mercenary. Her cards are strong attacks and status effects, but be careful not to overheat. Aries. All right, we're going up in difficulty. All right, no shields here. Oh, draw one less card per turn, huh? All right. Place warp prep with a boss artifact. Yeah, dude, yeah. Glass cannon. Gain one extra energy every turn. Your shift cannon become weak at the start of combat. Oh my god. Alright, let's do it. Alright, everyone, just, just chill here for a second. I'm gonna use the restroom and get water. Stay here.
Well, actually, let me stand up, and then I'll do all those things, okay? I'm just gonna do it in that order. Hey, Honey Raptor, happy 69 months. Hope you enjoy some reality. See it? It's right up there. Some things never change. BR freaking B. And I'm back. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, intruder alert. Oh, you guys. Uh, guys. Ugh. Whoop, whoop. Alarm sounds. Use the intruder. Phew, these time loops are getting weirder. Your stupid time crystal must really be doing a number on the time stream. So how do you... Well, whatever. Now make yourself useful. I'm venting to... Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. All right. Want a wall that looks that cool? It's easy. If you have a green wall, then that wall gets to be whatever you want it to be. Alright, so... So I can toggle these. So if I... Oh, man, this is tricky. Okay, so this takes one less damage from all attacks. Oh my god. Okay, so I can do... I could do like... Do I have anything that even generates shield? I have basic block. That's it? Alright, well... We're going to basic scramble, and I'm going to move to the middle where I'm going to summon an attack drone, and the attack drone is going to be my block. Oh my god, we have one of these... We have one of these Ascender's Banes. <laughs> Heat sink is move to the right. Oh, I can move and get minus one heat. And then there's other things that I assume add heat. Oh. Oh. Okay. Dude, what is going on here? I don't know what setting I, I put it on. It's probably some, like, automatic thing that's just making sure things don't overheat. I want to use this. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Whoa. All right. So now this is active. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to move here, toggle the cannon, EMP slug this to disable, do a basic shot, do a basic block, and the turn. I have no idea if it's overheating or not. Like I, I, I just, I just, I just don't know things. I don't know things, my dudes. Everything's deciding not to function very well on me today, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so that's four, but I can do this to push that in front of that. And then I want to come over here and go scramble shot. Sh 
shields. Oh yeah, that's just getting more powerful. All right. New tech pains, dude. It's actually so funny, the sheer amount. I'm gonna get the attack drone because I kind of view what Isaac is doing as like defense. Oh my God, would you shut up Dropbox? Turn off all notifications for Dropbox. Dude, the number of things like, okay, so I started hooking up my PC on Friday, did a little on Sunday, did a bunch on Monday, and did like all the rest on Tuesday. And you know, you, you like, you would think that just, <sighs> so I have, my PC is here and I reach into the back and I unplug all the cords. I have the cords in the back quite organized. And you would think that what I would then do is I would take the new computer and just place it there, put the cords in, begin downloading the various programs, and we'd be fine. But it's like, oh man, what is this? Oh my God. I am certain there is some setting that is like, yeah, turn it off if it is I don't know, getting overheated or overused or whether it detects that the battery is low or something like this. Yeah, you would think that just plugging the things in would then work and it's just not doing that. Cause like um, every single program from pieces of technology like my audio mixer or the camera that you're looking at right now, everything from that to like, you know, applications like Discord and Chrome and all these things, all of them have these new user procedures that like I haven't dealt with because I've had Discord installed um, since 2016 on the other PC and it's just automatically updating. And of course, if it sees that I'm a user that's been there for like, you know, five years, it's not gonna do its new user signup experience. So like, for instance, when I installed Discord, it started pinging all my other devices, trying to make sure that like it was connected properly across all of them. Um, and then uh, I needed to reset a password. So I'm getting logged out on my phone and this PC and my laptop, like everything starts to, this daisy chain of things going wrong. Or like even with this uh, microphone that I have, there's a bunch of software settings that I have to copy over one by one because I can't like save the information and reload. It's just a bunch of numbers that are in the, this uh, setting thing. So I have to like go through those and then I miss one and then the audio sounds weird and I can't figure it out. Mamma mia. Hello dearies, what brings you to Grandma's Bakery and Weapons Market? Weapons, carrot cake, both. Uh, One random rare card. Attack for two damage. If it kills, gain one max hull. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy. So let's go ahead and draw first. Let's get that out. Let's just use basic dodge. I'm gonna want this toggled over here, probably. So let me do that. Luigi. Um, shit. So let's, let's shift, slug this to disable that. And then let's like scoot over here and then I can flip the cannon to make this take one less damage. Ah? Okay, so now I want to do... Oh, this is rough. So this deals two damage. Oh no, it deals three damage. So I do want to go toggle, shoot, block, attack drone. Shift it, attack drone. So 
So coming up is pillage and plunder. All right, let's see here. So this is my bay. There's a basic shot, so I can dodge, move here, toggle, shoot this, then get out a second attack drone. That seems all right. And then my opponent, like, I, I should be able to if I have, oh, there it is, pillage and plunder, bam. All right, what is this? Heal one hull? It's a hot compress. I'm not supposed to use any of those on my ear. It's bad for it. Choose a card in your draw pile, put it in your hand. I I'm gonna get selective memory because I think this is gonna allow me to just get fight me let me let me upgrade this first I want to upgrade this first I'm gonna do pillage and plunder piercing I think I'm gonna do this Dude, this EMP slug is actually insanely, insanely good. So let's do... Hit this. I'm gonna... Selective memory, actually, just to get a... Basic dodge here. It's only four wide. Okay, so... If I do this, and then get the attack drone out... There we go. So, I mean, this is going to be just basic shot, basic shot, basic block, and the turn. Okay, so the two cards we have in there are the Corrupted Core and the Basic Shot. So, I think Scramble is definitely what we're going to want to do. It's still worth it just to shoot this, even though it's eating up space, that's fine. We'll remove this, we'll shoot, we'll summon an attack drone, we'll just end the turn. Okay, so let's switch the cannon location so we can EMP this guy. And there's not that much to do, so I'm just gonna scramble and I'm just gonna hang out. Oh my god, this is... Ah! Yeah, maybe I actually need to activate heat sink for my actual camera. Alright, so let me go. Bang. Bang. Lock. Scoot. My opponent's getting, getting lower. Um, so we do have, we can, we, we can scramble our way out of here. Let me shoot this. So seven cards left. I really want to get Pillage and Plunder B. So this will be one, two, or one, two, three. I'll just do it like this. I mean, that's pretty fun to just increase the hull slowly over time. All right, Despy, I want you to know I love you more than anything. 
All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this for a moment because I need to peel my camera over here. Ugh. All right. Come here. Stay with me. Stay with me. All right. Menu. All right. Hold on. Hold. On. We're, we're doing some real content here. Menu. Set up to two out of seven. Uh, okay, well, hold on. We're, we're going to fix it. All right, so... All right, so I did that. Power off, time for this to start. Yeah, great. Okay, great. Cool. I fixed it. And by I fixed it, I'd like to give a warm thanks to Ghost Stalker for doing the research for that. Hi. I'm back. There we go. Nice. So what do I want to get here? This is, uh, do I want another hot compress? I think I do want another space mine. Quick thinking might be good, because, like, I, I struggle a lot with cards, like, getting the cards I want. I think I'm going to do this. What is this? If you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain a shield. That's not bad. Friendly ship is under attack from themselves. Hello, is this thing on? I made a big old mistake. My missiles. Please help. Let's explode the frog. Yeah, help the toad. Shows missiles and drones will all launch backwards. Oh. So we want to try to build up as much block, as much of these shifts as we can. Fire this into the, into the air because that feels cool, huh? Oh, I'm making a mistake. <laughs> All right, I've already messed up. Right, but that's fine. That's fine. All right. So we kind of have this puzzle game where I'm trying to like save, save this absolute turkey. All right, so now, so now if I, uh, if I drone this, basic dodge, toggle cannon, scoot, shoot. Dude, th th this ship I think is like, like I am enjoying a lot, like substantially different than the first ship that I played. All right, so we sent out the attack drone. Swap this. EMP slug this. Oh, whoops. Alright. That'll do it, right? So I can go drone. Basic shot. Draw shot. Basic shot. Into the ether. All right. He's almost done not killing himself.
this just this just this turn is just bad for villain. What can you say? Spend that. All right. Good luck to you. Boink boink. Okay, so the attack drone comes out here. The EMP slug goes there. That's what that's what we got. So everyone in there is poisonous, but it's totally fine. Hey, I'm alive, and I can't thank you enough. So I won't. Seriously? Okay, fine. Offer you hard drive I found earlier. Missile malware. This ship's missiles and drones will all launch backwards. That seems good. Uh, missile is going to deal two damage. Cannot miss. Be offered a random artifact. Yeah, bang! Every fifth time you attack, gain one of eight. Nice, perfect for what we're doing. Gone to buddy says, "Hey, Danai, I just wanted to say I used to record your StarCraft two videos and take them with me when I was on a ship with no internet. Long time fan. Man, I'm thrilled to hear that. And I talk a lot. Oh my god, I can't shut up to save my life. So you would have had a lot of hours of entertainment. That makes me really happy to hear." Yeah, once upon a time, we had a um, hard drive that would bounce around between American military who were deployed in areas where they just did not have an internet connection. It's just nice to get the hard drive, load like 50 episodes onto it, fire it back out somewhere. <laughs> you ever notice there's a lot of robots around here? Yeah, what about them? Civilization that built them. It died out long before any of us got here. I was ancient war machines. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. No, I know. Um, huh. Lee Grena. Hey, Lee. How you doing, lady? Let's see. Status effect to apply to itself. I yeah, I'm gonna do this and I'm actually gonna get scramble. Which uh will not do anything. Whoops. Okay, I'm I'm terrible. It's okay. Shoot one, draw two. I'm between Ritalin, so I'm in a slumping tin. Dude. Truly one of the worst. Um Let's see here. So I, I'll just send out the attack drone and just shoot a little bit. Let me do it in this order, though. Let me do parallel shift first, then attack drone, shot, shot. What? Oh, my God. I did not see that at all. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'm literally about to lose. We didn't deserve to win this loop. Oh man. Hundred piss, thanks, Lee. Lee, you truly, you truly don't have to donate any bits because I'm gonna be sending them right back to you. <laughs> All right, EMP slug. So let me let me make sure I understand this. If I do this, it fires like that. Got it. <laughs> Another hundred bits. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Aww. All right. Can I? Right, so let's toggle. Basic, basic, parallel. Go with the EMP slug. So we're we're looking to get 
pillage and plunder as soon as we can. Can Riggs romance Isaac? Can Riggs romance Isaac? I don't know. I have, no, I, I have not seen any romance in the game. I've seen cards and RNG. All right, so we're gonna position this in case we draw any of our shooties. Okay, we are almost there. So we have to do this very specifically. We have to do... Oh no. Okay, so I need to move this out of the way. And then I need to move myself out of the way and I need to draw a shot. Because the probability of drawing this was gonna be low. Oh God. All right. So now I need to see if I can make this go on a little bit longer. All right, quick thinking. See I'm shooting out here. Let me just do basic dodge and basic blocks. So that way I have enough health. And then I have the resource to do this. And then, okay. Because I really, really, really want to hit this thing that will grant me more healths. I really want to. So I'm going to shoot into the mist. So now I'm not going to use quick thinking. I'm just going to do basic block. Not gonna summon the attack drone. I'm trying as hard as I can to hit, there it is. Toggle cannon, pillage and plunder, shoot, and it gives me plus one. Thank goodness. I think I really need to do that aggressively. Serenity, the next time you would gain any amount of heat, instead lose one serenity. Car draw is good for us. I was thinking heat wave is good for us. We're just gonna try this out. Why not? Uh, gain three drone shift on the first turn. Yeah, that's incredible. All right, I'm gonna upgrade a card because I'm crazy in the cocoa nut. Yeah, Serenity B. Free card draw? Yeah, do that. Rad. I might fight Cleo later. Alright, boss time. Alright, so... We just do this right away. Attack drone. I think I actually want to get Scramble for, like, my positioning, like, right away. So this is good to just get. So I can actually move over here and do basic... Actually, what, what else do I have in there? Quick thinking, attack drone, EMP slug. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select a memory to get the attack drone. Here, I'm going to do basic shot, basic block, but then I'm going to toggle the... I literally did it backwards. I literally did it the exact backwards way. Oh my god. I did it... Oh my god, then I take bonus damage. Oh, EMP slug. Cool, I know how that thing works. I leveled myself. I mean, just basic shots, right? So if I leave this alone, I don't take any damage. Isn't that great? I'm gonna do scramble. I'm gonna shoot this. I'm not gonna play this yet. 
This, I don't want to do anything with. So now I just don't take damage, right? Yeah, totally gets negated. Very excellent, very excellent. So now I have this, this is my missile bay, so I can summon a little drone, summon a little drone, toggle, dodge, shot. So let's just first draw. And what cards do I have left? I do have Pillage and Plunder in there. So I can deal. How much damage can I deal this time? One, two, three. So my opponent will be... Three and one. So I can deal one, two, three damage right now will be going down to seven. So I think that the best thing for me to do is to play quick thinking right now. It did draw this pillage and plunder. So I'm going to instead go shoot, shoot, pass. Shoot, shoot. And then I'm going to toggle. So now that is the armored side. But I have four movement, and I can move this around. So let's just first do some quick thinking. Okay, so this is really straightforward. I just... Hmm. This is actually quite subtle, because I don't, I don't want to deal too much damage. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna EMP slug this like that. Then I'm going to move this here. So now it's blocked, and the probability of me drawing pillage and plunder is high. Basic, basic. Okay. Probability is still high if I go one, two, three. I can then toggle to shoot out in space. And literally the last card in the deck is that one. Well, that's okay because I did draw the scramble. All right, so then we're going to toggle the cannon and we're going to plunder. Dude, stack building is the best. This this quest is the best. Uh, rocks, what is this? Engine lock ship cannot move. What? Ignores all shields and armor? I, I, I'm not super sure the rock factory is bad for us, though. You know, I, I'm actually going to try rock factory. Gain one extra energy every turn, gain one heat each turn. I mean, that's pretty sweet. I'm doing that, man. And that, now I need to get some hot compresses and some more draw. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. So hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're off. Okay, so so we have five we have five mana per turn. Lee. Happy one year. So this is any again, any amount of heat instead of lose one serenity. That's going to be good. So we're going to do this. One, two, three. We do want to get that one out.
And where's our basic dodge? We had it somewhere here. Oh shit, that's not what I want to do. Get so excited by subbing to my own content. Dude. Uh, let's see here. So this is the attack drum can come out here, but we're going to quick thinking. EMP slug is perfect here. I swear to God, I just keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, whatever. Alright, reducing my damage by a little bit. We have five damage, so this is... Oh, this is just if it kills, huh? So we are going to take one hull damage in a moment. Oopsie doopsie. So let's shift this. Actually, I'm going to use this to get quick thinking. So then I can draw through my stuff as fast as I can. One, two, three, four. We want to do this and this. All right, so that this will get our opponent a little low. Okay, so. We're again going to do this weird thing where we sh come over here and we shoot the draw way out here so we can potentially redraw into this pillage and plunder. That's all we're trying to do right now. But let's 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 be smart about this. Let's do it like this and draw a shot like here. Nice. Not nice. Oh, I'm going to burst into tears. All right. Well, let me Move this here. See, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be able to cast this. For three damage. If it kills, gain one max health. That's what I want to do. Alright, so we're going to heat sink. And we're going to scramble. We're going to go one, two. And we're going to end the turn. All right, so we're we're just we're chilling, we're chilling, trying to make sure that we can do stack building. Oh, thank goodness! Bang, dude, it is fun stack building. Like it is insanely fun. I think Vamoose is is an absolute nut play for us. I'm gonna go through the question mark bossy route. Okay, so... Might as well draw those three cards right now. So, I think first thing is first... I'm gonna scoot my booty over like this. Toggle this. Do a quick one-shot plot right there. Give myself a basic dodge, and we're just gonna hang out. Um, I think heat sink is just always good to cast. Let me heat sink actually. Heat sink, and then I'm going to EMP slug to shoot here. Oh wait, actually, I can do like this. No, I am. I'm literally doing this as wrong as a, as wrong as a man can do a thing. 
I... Ah, vamos. All right, cool. This is it. This is this is the turn. I could have done that earlier, but I just didn't see it. Till I was done. It's just basic shot there. All right, so let's draw a shot here. Cockpit takes bonus damage, so I'll move. I will toggle. I'm just gonna go basic shot, basic shot. I'm not gonna do the rock factory yet. Dude, I, I think that if we can, like, build this up enough... Um, I think that we can... Should have heat sink here. Move here and we can EMP slug this. Okay, so it's not guaranteed that we'll draw the thing. I'm gonna toggle. I'm gonna draw a shot. Oh, we do, we we have it, don't we? Because I can do a basic shot, and then I can selective memory to just get it. Oh my God, the combo! Basic shot, selective memory to go find pillage and plunder, and then I shoot my opponent for three. It's piercing damage, they get killed. Yeah, I'm gonna do evasive shot. Whew. Finding lethal is hard sometimes. Two dizzy cards? Yeah, I'll take... I'll take a... One dizzy card? Do I want a damage card? I think I want parry, because I can maybe get overload. Ah, oh, god. Yeah, I think I think just some, some damage is going to be helpful here. Because I, I have had some damage problems. Let me do this, and then I will shoot. Rogue Starnacle. A. Oops, 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 oops. Oh my god. All right, that's, that's so much damage. All right, attack drone, rock factory, toggle cannon, basic shot, basic shot. I have. Asteroid coming up. It's working. I think evasive shot is good here. As will Serenity be.
to just keep doing this and then scoot myself. Okay. So we can now... Uh, there's plunder and pillage. So I'm going to draw shot first. We did not get it, but then I can EMP slug to bring my opponent quite low. And I think we just we just take the damage here. I wish we were not losing that, but I think that like I think it's good to be doing this. Okay, so now I can scoot, toggle, shoot. Scoot, toggle, and shoot. Excellent. Whew. Why not? Why not? Bubbler doesn't do it. Gain three energy every time you spend. Do I have anything? Vamoose, pillage and plunder. I mean, it's Vamoose, so but this is still free. Place a card with a random rare card. I mean... I mean... All right. I will do the riskiest thing. Okay. Dude, I just start with two heat. So I will get quick thinking. I will use quick thinking. And I definitely have to use this. I definitely make an attack drop. Dodge, scramble. Dude, I just have, like, so many things that give heat and so few things that remove heat. Like, so few things that remove heat. Why not? Let's just, let's just mega overheat here, shall we? Okay. So... Here's the EMP slug, so this is great. I can rotate here, I can draw shot first. Serenity is great, because then I can shoot with the EMP slug. And ignore this. Multi-blast. turn. I would like to plunder again, but I'm, you know, obviously a little worried because I'm taking massive hull damage from overheating. But I'm just such a greedy player. Why would I not do that? It's really hard to convince me not to be greedy every single time. So let's, let's go ahead and toggle. Because this is, if you're overheating, you just take one hull damage. And I think, I think we're going to be able to heal ourselves up soon. Right? So 14 cards left. There's Plunder. Three drives humanity. Drives me and my games. All right, if I just draw it here, holy shit, I just literally just drew it. Look at that, bam. Easy, the finishing item, easy. <gasps> minus one, what does this do? Discard one card at random, draw two cards, keep minus one. Yeah, let's do this. While at plus three heat, all your attacks deal plus one damage. Oh, yeah. Whenever you have no cards in hand. No, this is it. That's about too close to Black Hole. If we don't adjust in something right now. Jettison part of the hull, lose half your hull. Yeah. Yep. 
Right? I'm definitely going to repair seven hull. <laughs> like 100%. Like 100%. It's like not even close. I wish there were different bosses that we could fight against. It would go a long way to increasing that sense of variety. All right, are we, it looks like we're a rock factory. This game. I don't want to get through this one. Yeah, I mean, I guess selective memory too. She hit me with serenity right away. This is this is not bad if I can just. Heat wave. Toggle the cannon. Last. Basic shot. Rock factory. Basic, basic dodge. Scoot in one. You know, I should have shot right here. Weak, Weak stuff. Let's toggle. Do this to disable that. Oh my god, a ventilator. Dude, ventilator. Oh, I can just cast it as many times as I want? What the fuck is this card? Holy literal shit. Seer. For, for piercing damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna vent. I, I am experiencing vent elation. Do you get it? Not much to get, but that's what I have for you. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna heat sink. This is going so good. Serial Snarlax says, Elate Sean. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have an evasive shot. Yeah, so I mean, we're still not. All right, so let's toggle. So now we're over here, multi-blast. Ramble, 100%. So we're gonna take a damage now, that's fine. So, let's see here. If I shoot this, it'll take one more damage. So how much is here? This is nine damage? That feels close, right? This is four, five, six. Quick thinking to see if we're getting close. Terrible. But wait, if I do this, add one damage to all attacks. So this is three, plus one is four, plus one is five. And then this is, oh, four, five, five plus three is eight. I mean, well, damn it. Oh, well that missile's gonna do teal. Okay. All right, I'm making mistakes. We're making, we're making mistaking, but that's okay. We had a way to get lethal, but I am going to be as greedy as the game will let me be greedy. This attack drone shoots for one. So we can, for instance, just do this. All right, let's see. You know, I'm just gonna shoot this, do this, draw some stuff. 
I'm gonna do this one more time to draw some stuff. And here's here is my here's my gambit. I want to draw plunder and pillage B, but not on this turn. So I'm gonna do this and assume I'm not gonna draw it. So sick. Okay, so. So if we can put out the attack drone here, and we can rotate this, and we can evasive shot this, and we can do this again. So now we are increasing the probability of drawing the thing that will let us get more health. All right, we, we did not get it, but we get to Vamoos. All right, yeah, yeah. And then we are all but guaranteed to get it. We did it. Oh my God, this is it. I mean, I guess, I guess think twice is good for us because we really want to get the Hit point farmer. Can one evade every turn? You can only have one three evade. Don't like that. Simplicity. On pickup, remove three cards. Ooh. Yeah, that's really good. I'm going to do this. So, Grazer Beam. Every time an attack misses, the enemy does some stuff. One random enemy part mate uh, is made brittle at the start of the fight. The part is not marked as brittle until it is damaged. Ah. Okay, ricochet paddle. And quick draw, draw two cards on the first turn. I guess sure. Not not excellent, but you know it's something, something, something not bad. Okay, so this is good. I can get I can maybe get rid of these just like all right now. So let me just do this. Serenity. There's the think twice. Yeah, I don't want to do this. I mean an attack drone is good here. I kinda wanna just sear and then scoot. You know, that's what I'll do. I'll go shoot shoot. I will think twice to get rid of everything and redraw. Because the probability of just drawing what we need should be 100% right now. Can't believe I'm gonna take two damage. All right, fine. Shoot and draw. Well, I'll shoot this guy here. Remove one of those. Corrupt your core. Get that out. I had a move? I didn't think I had a move. Could be true. Right? I've just been kind of clearing shit out of my deck for now. Scramble is good, because now I can do this. Scramble, I can go here, and then I can... Get the wave. Shoot this to disable it. I have like one million... I need to start just getting rid of stuff to maybe... What am I 
looking for here is the claw moves. Alright, so that helps, because then I can attack drone. I can multi-blast. Hey, it's the weak spot. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna Vamoose. So now it is crazy difficult for my opponent to, like, ever fuck with me. Seer, seer. Okay, so... Alright, so it's it's somewhere in here. There it is. Bang! Yes. What is this exothermic release? What? I actually think I'm gonna get the EMP slug. Cause like I mean, because you know me, because I'm reckless. Like, why would I not get the slug? So what do we wanna do? Do we wanna Go down a path of upgrades. I don't know, that seems pretty fun. Let's go this way. Duplicate, duplicate card in your deck four times, lose four max health. Dude, Serenity B. This is it. Serenity B. Serenity B. Serenity B. Serenity B. Are you kidding me? It's Serenity B. Dude, this is so insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, just take it. Take it. I don't give a shit, man. Uh, and then we go over to here. I'm gonna fight you. Do this. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, what in the shit, man? Oh my god, that is such an that is just a mean thing to do, you know? Oh god. Fuck, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to get an attack drone up here. Shoot for once, there you go. Is there any way to win this shit? Draw shot to maybe get... There it is, the EMP slug. That's good. Alright. Oh my god, what do we even have in here? I, I think that attack drones might be a thing. So I think she might just recenter every single time. did not get me out quite as much as I would have liked. 
You know what? I want to see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a basic dodge, because I don't know what I'm doing. Rats. Ah, <laughs> uh, this run was really fun. Why is that what happened, man? Oh my god. Oh, I tried to move out of the way. She summons ten homing missiles. Ah, uh, quick thinking. I can't believe that's how I'm going to end my stream. Is just getting crapped on by Cleo. Can you hear me? It that literally ends it. I don't believe it. This is the game. I don't actually believe it. We got crapped on so hard. Well. <laughs> Coming back from the psychological damage of trying to get into a funny, funny argument with a shopkeeper only to have 10 homing missiles blast you out of the sky and end your god run, I'd like to give a warm thanks to Brace Yourself Games. Isn't that a funny name for a company after what happened? Brace Yourself Games for sponsoring today's stream. And I gotta admit, I think this is a brilliant variation on the deck builder roguelike experience. Because I think that, um, you know, some of the stuff that I, I talked about at the start of the stream, I had said without having played the game. So I kind of want to revisit that again. But, you know, there's... I think that there is this... You know what? Can I borrow that soapbox from you? <laughs> okay, so I think that when it comes to, hey, I feel inspired to make a game. There's a game that I want to make. Often, you're looking at that game over there that you already currently enjoy, and you're thinking, you know what? That would be cool to make something like that, but with the thing that I want that would make that game better. Ugh. Um, you know. Hey, I want an automation game, but I don't want it to take so damn long to launch the rocket. Maybe I can do a mission-based automation game. You know, something like this. Um, and then I think what happens is you sit down to make a game, and what you realize is that there is this tension between systems that are stable and content that is stable. And what do I mean by this? Well, if I take, for instance, the battle royale genre, from a system perspective, bro, put 100 people in, have a circle that kind of shrinks in some pattern, and the last person standing wins, yeah. That is so sturdy, you can do it in a first-person shooter that has realistic military sim-type mechanics. You can do it in a first-person shooter that has action mechanics, like in Apex Legends. You can do it in a more arcadey shooter, like in Fortnite. You could do it in a um, uh, Souls combat style, like Nautica Blade Point. You can do it as a top-down, isometric, controlled game, like uh, Battle Right Royale, and so on and so on. Like. The underlying system is so robust, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. And there's other genres that, I mean, honestly, like there's a there's a kind of really limited set of content 
in the game that's kind of inflexible. I feel a little bit like um, 2D platformers kind of fall under this category. You can get double jumps, air dashes, um, a couple of these kinds of movement mechanics, but it's not like there's a huge number of other mechanics outside of that. You really are kind of like limited with that. Um, oh yeah, I think I think um, RTS is also a really good example Tuesday Twitch. At least I want an RTS with a time bring of death. That'd be so funny. You build a base and a circle just shrinks past it. And you lose all of your shit. Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, R RTS is a good example uh, that you bring up. Because, like, if you just change the balance of a marine a little bit, it can just destroy the entire game. And so, I think that um, there's a lot of indie devs. Well, I both think that there exist a bunch of indie devs that I haven't met. But I also personally know of indie devs that I've spoken to and conversations with about this where they had a game idea, tried it, and it was just hard to get any amount of raw fun happening with any amount of time. They were like, oh my God, I have to put in two years before I even get to begin to have fun in this game. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna yawn, hold on. <sighs> and what I think that the roguelike deck builder genre presented to many devs is, wow, this is not a graphically heavy or technically intensive thing that I can make that can get me to fun right away. And not just deck building roguelikes, but roguelike games in general, where, you know, there's stakes. And if you mess up, you die. And then, and then you go back through the run again. And there's this, again, emphasis on the composition of these semi-random elements, less on trying to get the individual stat of the marine to be just right or the whole game is ruined kind of thing. Um, and so there, there's, there's been this kind of glut of, frankly, just fine ro deck building roguelike games. They're just completely, totally fine. They're not exceptional. They don't do anything exactly new, but they're, but they're all right. And some of them can have content that is good enough. Just the individual card interactions are, they're just so cool that it really takes it to the next level. But I think that there has been a lack of games that do new mechanics and like new things and are extending stuff in new ways. I've seen a lot of indie games in the roguelike genre, a lot of indie games in the deck building genre that kind of have this quality of, um, Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. You just, you took that and that, you put them together. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, but what I, I really admire and enjoy to fuckload about Cobalt Core, until I got destroyed by the shopkeeper, is the inventiveness of the ship-to-ship -ship combat and the collection of new mechanics there. Um, you probably observed that during my final run, where I had a small ship very little block that I was like trying to reposition and plan and like alternate the positioning of all this stuff um, to reduce the amount of damage I would take by like putting, um, you know, asteroids in front of me or um, attack bots in front of me or just trying to swap out my cannon to make sure the armored side was taking the damage. And that like feeling of planning around this like 3D environment is awesome. It's like super fresh. Makes sense to me now. I think it was like the number one or number two highest rated or most downloaded demo in Steam Next Fest. And if any of you are curious in checking it out, it is obviously out on Steam because that's where I'm playing it right now. But it's also out on the Nintendo Switch as of literally today. Uh, so it was a delightful game playthrough up until that shopkeeper, which I think you know it's. I'm a big fan of when a game just, like, absolutely savagely kills you for no real reason. <laughs> you know, like in Elden Ring, when you walk up to the cliff because it's a beautiful view, then the cliff just breaks and you fall and plummet to your death. <laughs> that shit is fucking sweet. Um, but yeah, I, I and, and by the way, I, I want to say, as hard as I can, this game just doesn't have anything to do with Slay the Spire. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, not Slay Spire. Um, uh, faster Than Light. Faster Than Light. Because I see. Got a nice saying, Faster the Spire. 
Um, but like, like faster than light is just, I feel like it would be like saying Starcraft and Minecraft have a lot in common because they have the word craft, right? I think the only thing that this game has is this slight tangential sensation that you are in a ship battling against other ships. But just because EVE Online has that and FTL has that doesn't mean that this game has a, a similar gameplay to either of those. Um, but yeah, so that's that. That's it, I'm done. I'm gonna go. I'm going to leave. Uh, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for Magic the Gathering uh, Arena pre-release day for the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. We're gonna do some sealed, some draft, make some big green stompy nonsense. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go. Goodbye. Thanks for joining. Au revoir.